<laughs> oh, it's snowing, boys and girls. A white Christmas indeed. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you guys hear me okay? How is my audio? I've been rushing to finalize things for this episode, and uh, it's it's been a grind. <laughs> I did like three hours worth of work in like 25 minutes. <laughs> Sushi, thank you for the tier one sub, five months in a row. Decent, actually. Audio is good. Nice. Very, very cool. I'm a few minutes early, as per the norm lately, just so I can kind of uh, make sure everything's going okay, everything's working, and um, I can kind of chill for a minute while, uh, you know, just getting in, getting in my zone. Christmas special, guys. Christmas special. I'll roll out more important info as uh, we get more people in here. Away for the wind to blow Brian's place over. Yeah, there's a there's a wind advisory in my area, like a, a high warning wind advisory. You need like 65 mile an hour winds. It's been pretty rough. I have no idea how long uh, my power is going to be on. I'm surprised it hasn't gone out yet. But um, the advisory actually ends in an hour. So if we make it through the next hour, that I should be good. Should be good. <laughs> Should be good. <laughs> As a Californian, this is foreign territory to me. <laughs> yeah, the, the best part is, like, ten minutes ago, like, the overlay stopped working. <laughs> and I was like, no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I was trying to do so many things at once, and, like, my overlay just broke. <laughs> the snow just stopped. It was... It was it was such a, a heart-wrenching moment because I was afraid it just wasn't going to work. But uh, we, we, we got there. We got there. Hello, everyone. Thoughtbot says I love you, B. <laughs> I love you, too. I love all of you. Digging the falling asbestos on the stream, like... <laughs> it's supposed to be snow. It's supposed to be snow. <laughs> Fizzkey said with Twitch Prime, 15 months in a row. Very nice. Thank you, sir. I think that's the maximum amount of months. Zombiebot. Oh, yeah, he told me. <laughs> he told me. I was talking to him before the stream. We were trying to set up some, some stuff. Why is weed raining on your stream? <laughs> Come on, guys. It's not that bad. It's supposed to be snow. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> hey, man. A lot of work... A lot of time and work went into this overlay. <laughs> Please like it. <laughs> Ashes from the wildfires. <laughs> Are there still wildfires in, like, California right now? <laughs> Gray snow. Maybe it's an omen. <laughs> Open your imagination, Jay. Jesus. <laughs> you guys are killing me here. Killing me. <laughs> All right, everything seems to be working fine, which is a good, good start. Is this American snow? Yeah, this is the snow. This is what happens in America when uh, you get snow in an industrial city because it's just smog everywhere. <laughs> so the snow is black and gray. 
<laughs> you guys are such haters, man. <laughs> you guys are such haters. <laughs> the dust bunny overlay. <laughs> Don't make me turn this stream around, guys. I will turn this stream around right now. But I don't have a snow machine in the room? It's a good question. <laughs> Test quality show. Ugh. How is your Zephyr doing? You mean my Zephyr? Volcanic snow. Yeah, it's like uh, sulfur, kind of, right? Pluto with a tier one sub seven months in a row. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nuclear winter. Oof. JTM83 with a Twitch Prime sub to seven months in a row, and Pooch Zag with six months in a row. Thank you, guys. Must be that time of the month. Must be that time of the month. Um, all right, guys. Now it's probably as good a time to start as ever. So I will roll an intro real quick, then we'll uh, we'll get to chatting about stuff. Alright guys, welcome to this week's episode of Top Clack. This is our, our, Chris, our Christmas special. It's uh, the 20th of December, 2018, and um, since we didn't have an episode lined up with Christmas, this was uh, kind of my alternative because I didn't really want to do one after Christmas. So uh, this, this was kind of what's going on. This is what you get, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. So once again, welcome to this week's episode. It's a Christmas special. I am your host, Quakums. And if you have looked at your screen yet, you probably see that I have a guest. Not quite yet, but I have a guest. It is Mech Merlin. Um, he, is, he is a wizard. And of course, you know, a wizard is never late. He'll arrive precisely when he means to. And that'll probably be after the news section. <laughs> So uh, keep that in mind, guys. We'll uh, we'll go through a quick uh, news section like we normally do. I have a, a decent amount of news, but uh, we'll we'll get through it, and um, you know then we'll we'll bring on Mech Merlin, my my good friend, and we will talk about some uh, cool keyboard and Christmas stuff. And then uh, at the end of the show, we'll do a Q and A like we always do. And uh, somewhere before then, I'm going to open up a dock for Christmas giveaway stuff. So. That'll be uh, that'll be after the new section. That'll be that'll be sometime a little bit in the second half of the show. So bear in mind that, please, guys. All right, Nebula with one thousand. Merry Christmas, bits. Very nice for charity. Love it. Love the charity bits. I like these messages that pop up on my screen after someone does it too. 245355 dollars totally raised so far for direct relief. Very nice. Very nice. Tonka Tonk, thank you very much for that tier one sub for eight months in a row. Appreciate that. Hopefully the snow doesn't bother you guys too much. <laughs> I wasn't really sure. I, I thought it was going to be really polarizing. I figured people would either really like it or really, really, really hate it. Um, it won't be going on during the news section, so just, just keep that in mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's start with a little bit of a mail call. I didn't get a whole lot of things this week, but I did get a couple of things um, worth talking about. So I actually got an order from Novel Keys In, which uh, gave me some of the new Black Bottom Milky Top Gateron Reds, as well as the new All Black Housing Gateron Silent Yellows, which is a pretty interesting switch. We haven't really seen... All black housing Gaterons on the market, pretty like pretty much at all. They exist, but they're not easy to find. And to have a silent yellow on top of that is is quite something indeed. So I'm looking forward to uh, putting these to the test. I might swap the tops around so I can get 
some all black housing, non silent Gatterons or something. Swap the strings around. So that'll be pretty cool. I also got, if I can find them. Oh, they're not in a bag anymore. They're just laying on my desk. That's glorious. Here, let me let me sh let me show you in a handful here. I have samples from Masterop of the Holy Panda switches. Um, the reason I put quotes there is because if you have read my most recent article on topclack.com in the text clack section, um, it's kind of a very strange scenario, very odd turn of events. Um, which I will talk about later. That is on the news doc today. We'll go over all the Holy Panda happenings right now that are going on. Because there is a fair amount of stuff to say. And uh, it'll be it'll be good to get the information out there for the people that haven't actually seen what's been going on the last 24 or 48 hours. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. We'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. That is on the news doc. So, don't you guys worry. There There will be drama talked about. I say drama because like it's it's not like really drama, but you know people people like to really turn it into drama. No Santa costume. I actually went I went to I went to play local places yesterday trying to find a Santa hat, and like everywhere everywhere I went was sold out. So, eh. and I I am way too cheap to buy a full Santa costume to use this one time. That's just not me, man. It's just not me. Geo gifting five tier one subs. Nice. Thank you, Geo. You are you are a true gentleman. <laughs> Who did Brian give us the gat, silent gat yellows from? I got them from Novel Keys. So we will, we will, uh, <laughs> we'll have to make do without the Santa costume and hat, guys. I'm sorry. It's snowing in my house. It's, yeah. I like the snow, though. Look, I'm playing with it. Ah! <laughs> All right. Very cool. We are going to move into a bit of a news doc where we will talk about all the, the recent happenings. There haven't really been like a ton of stuff that going on that has been going on this week, uh, mainly because you know Christmas is coming up, holidays for a lot of people, and you know it's they're they're busy doing other stuff, family stuff. There's not a ton of uh, stuff going on in the keyboard community. Um, there have been some things, so we will go over them, and then we will you know move into everyone's favorite holy panda drama stuff in a little bit, and then uh, we will bring on our special Christmas guest, Mech Merlin, and then we'll have a good time. And then we'll start to give away stuff as well later on. Alright guys, let's move to the news. And I'm gonna hopefully not miss... Um, what is going on here? OBS, please. Sorry, guys. One second. OBS apparently doesn't want to detect my browser anymore, which is very typical. There we go. That looks better. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not really sure why that happened. OBS is, is playing tricks on me today, man. Pretty sure they're playing tricks on me. Can't do links. I can. I can do links. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do links together. <laughs> so yes, guys, rolling in to a bit of a news segment. Try to try to get through this nice and nice and streamlined. Starting off with the F and T Mars six point five. Um, a customer keyboard, not cut. I remember the IC did this exact same thing too. It's, I, I imagine it's supposed to be custom keyboard, but uh, cus customer keyboard is is what they want. So this is a group buy by uh, Sylvester, and this is the Mars six point five. It's inspired by what's the name of this board? 
I don't know what the name of this this inspired by board is. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, the idea, pretty simple. Pretty nice looking 60% with this, this kind of very obvious swoop in it. This is kind of the defining feature of this keyboard. I think it's kind of an either either a love it or hate it affair. Links are starting off strong. Hey, man. <laughs> getting there, man. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. My brain is so frazzled right now. I've been doing so much for the last, like, two hours. All right. So, yeah, some more pictures. There's actually quite a few renders here. I like the bottom of this. It's kind of reminiscent of uh, the Aria, or not, not the Aria, sorry, the Aquaria that's in interest check phase right now. It kind of has that uh, that nice curve slanted right over here towards the back and just kind of uh, folds into a nice little angle there. I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty darn nice. And it looks like on the bottom here you get, I'm not going to call it a weight because that that looks like aluminum, judging by this picture. So, uh, either a weight or an accent. Right? Okay, maybe maybe you can get it as a brass weight. Like, okay, so this is broken up kind of strangely. Oh wait, let's look at it. Let's look at it on uh, Z Frontier's website. That that might shed some more light upon this. Sorry, you guys. All right. So yeah, it's very nice. Two hundred sixty-nine dollar starting price. I imagine that's the um, that's the all aluminum kit. I'm just gonna pick some random colors here just for the sake. Okay. Yeah. So that's the all aluminum kit, and you can upgrade it to a e-plated brass weight, which will add. Uh, which will add a, uh, what is that, 30, 50, $53 to your order? $53 to upgrade from the aluminum accent to the brass weight on the bottom of this. Not, not terrible. Upgrade to a brass plate will cost you, wow, it's actually kind of, that's a lot. Is that $39? Upgrade to a brass plate for $39 uh, in place of the aluminum plate, I imagine. I don't know if it comes with it, like extra. Like, you get the aluminum stuff regardless, and then you can also get uh, uh, the brass stuff. That that could actually be what's happening here, in which case the, the prices make a lot more sense. But replacing an aluminum plate with a brass plate for $39 would be expensive, but if you get that uh, additionally, then it's not quite as bad. So, pretty nice stuff here. I actually do like, I do like the design of this board. It's pretty nice. I like the bottom. I like the swoop. Um, as far as I'm aware, let me see if they have a picture of it oh here we go so these little bars right here actually do have rgb um display so you get uh get your r's g's and b's going on there not too bad not too bad uh, of course you can buy extra components at this link there and timeline looking pretty darn reasonable the group buys open the 13th through the 25th, so it opened seven days ago, and it closes in five days, so pretty soon. That's actually not a very long group buy by today's standards. A lot of a lot of group buys today, they, they run for a really long time. A lot of people leave group buys open for a month, sometimes even two. Um, so this is this is kind of short, short and sweet, but maybe it's... Uh, Maybe it's just to, you know, do the, the whole, like, Chinese New Year thing and, um, you know, get everything done in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the estimated ship date is March 19th, which I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's pretty generous considering, uh, you know, Lunar New Year's and, like, factories taking holiday and stuff. Um, so that's... That's uh, that's very very ambitious timeline, I would say. But if they can still pull off March, then awesome. That'll be really really cool. Um, shipping is not included in the price. You'll be invoiced separately, and it will be DHL Express. So pretty pretty nice looking board, in my opinion. Use your your color options: electrophoresis, white or black, gray, purple, gold, pink, red, cyan, or green. Pretty nice list of stuff there. Um, I. I'm actually kind of a fan of this, to be honest. If I'm being totally honest, I like I like how different it is. The swoop, 
seems very odd, but I like it because it's different. I like different. I like individuality. Individuality. All right, so uh, it will be a five degree slope um, QMK PCB featuring Type C. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Moving on, moving on into the future a little bit more there with the the Type C. I do like that. Oh, here's the. Um, I can share the Z Frontier link, I guess. All right, guys. Next we have the Duck Octagon. And, or not, not Octagon, sorry, Orion. The Duck Orion V3 Group by, which I don't think... Yeah, it's not even... I don't think it's open anymore, right? I'm pretty sure this is closed now. Well, anyways, this opened on um, December 14th at 9... Or at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And I think it... When did it sell out? It's... How long did it take to sell out? Probably, someone in chat probably knows. Um, deadline for the order is December 16th or 100 sets. So it probably sold 100 sets within, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Filled in 1.5 minutes? Oh my god. A hundred Sold 100 Duck Orion V3 in 1.5 minutes, huh? That sure is quite quick. So, unfortunately, this is closed, so... You, can't join it now, but, uh, you know, it did happen this week, so that's it's something that I still want to go over, just so people can be aware of its existence. That is crazy. 1.5 minutes. That is... That blows me away. Absolutely blows me away. Anyway, so your, uh, your, your options for colors are really simple on this, black or silver. It has the very kind of standard, at this point, 11-degree uh, angle that duck boards often have, uh, which is a little too steep for me to comfortably type on, but I do still appreciate the uh, the look of it. Um, your plate options were stainless steel, aluminum, or uh, some kind of plastic, if I recall. Maybe it says, so it says plastic. I'm not sure if that's gonna be PBT, or PVC, or polycarbonate, or acrylic. Do you guys know? Was was this listed somewhere? What kind of plastic are they using for the plastic plate option? Also, Anorak, thank you very much for that tier one sub. Appreciate that. Um, so pretty pretty interesting stuff there. I actually um, I really like. Where's the? I'm pretty sure there's a picture link somewhere. Maybe this one. See where this goes. See what kind of treacherous waters this takes us into. Okay, yeah, so well, you get at least one picture here. I actually I I really like the way this looks personally. I like I like the side a lot. I think that side profile is absolutely gorgeous. So I think I think this is a really, really nice, really, really nice looking board. Of course it has the notification LEDs right there over your aero cluster, as is kind of tradition on the Orion, I think, now. So pretty, pretty nice stuff there. I wish we had some more pictures because this is kind of weak, to be totally honest. That plus the, the other one. Eh. Polycarbonate? Is that what it was? Okay, so polycarbonate was your plastic option. I don't know why they just don't say polycarbonate. There's a lot of plastics. <laughs> they don't just say metal plate. <laughs> they say aluminum or steel or brass. So I'm not sure why you just say plastic plate. I don't like that. You gotta, you gotta tell it like it is. Anyways, pretty interesting stuff. A full kit was gonna run you a $390 US um, for a starting price, plus $10 for an aluminum plate. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming steel was the base option, and aluminum is you know an, a, a small upgrade. And then uh, if you want an additional plate and PCB combo, it's $75 or plus 10 for aluminum. Um, shipping will, of course, be from South Korea, so I don't know. This is going to probably be... There's a shipping calculator here. I imagine it probably costs anywhere from $50 to $70 
or maybe even more to ship to the U.S. So, you know, not exactly cheap shipping, but we're not exactly uh, unfamiliar with that from, you know, buying customs in the last couple years. Shipping is expensive, especially when it's international and it's a keyboard kit that weighs a lot. So not, not very surprising there. Um, anyways, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome stuff. I kind of wanted to get one of these, to be totally honest, but A, that takes money, and B, I don't think I would have been able to get in the 1.5 minute window of it opening. <laughs> Alright, moving on just a little bit. We, I shared the link for this, right? I want to be, I want to be on top of these links, guys. Alright, I did get the link, okay. Next up, we have... A link that is broken? Why? I'm not sure why that link's broken, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's broken, but it's not hyperlinking in Twitch chat, which is really unfortunate. Um, either way, we have the Prelude 40%. This is an interest check for a premium sandwich mount thick plate compact keyboard. <laughs> which, is, uh, which is quite a mouthful. So about this, this is done by uh, Wing and Solid Snake. Must be a must be a Metal Gear Solid fan. It's a, a sandwich mount, as said in the title. We got a, a nice nice thick forty percent. This kind of, on some level, reminds me of the Pearl. The kind of curves of the side, the the height, the thickness. Um, the fact that it's it's kind of an HHKB kind of affair going on. There's a better picture. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like it, though. I think there's there's kind of always been this, this lack of really, really premium 40%. You know, of course, there's, there's tons of 40%. There's freaking tons of them. But there's really not a lot of, like, really, really nice ones. And then we got um, the Pearl. And the Pearl was, was kind of a revolution, you know, maybe a lot of people didn't like it because of the layout or, you know, whatever, if it had a different stagger, what have you, totally get it. But uh, as far as, like, the actual housings for 40% go, like, the entire, the entire accoutrement of that, we don't have very many really high-end, nice 40% keyboards. So, uh, you know, we're, we're finally starting to get a couple more here. The Pearl kind of uh, launched us in a little bit more to that, and now we have the Prelude. Which I think is an awesome name, by the way. Very, very thick, tall boy. Loving the way this looks. Alright, so uh, some of the specs I've written down here. We got uh, 6063 aluminum, okay, pretty standard. Anodized and offer in the color of your choice, which are... Uh, let me see if I can find the colors. Ah, here we go. That's the specs I was looking for. All right, so um, am I am I high? Okay, the color of your choice, bam. So any color you choose, apparently. There's not even a list, just any color you choose, which is very very interesting. It's a four point seven millimeter thick brass plate, finished to finished to a one hundred twenty grit bead blast with clear coat treatment. So pretty pretty interesting kind of um I wonder how it's actually gonna gonna look it's kind of more of like a polished texture I guess it almost almost has a sandblasted look oh it's bead blaster oh der derp our right, angle is six degrees PCB will be a QMK firmware and uh, it will be USB-C, and the front height will be 18.5 millimeters. So that's actually, I mean, for a 40%, that's, that's relatively tall. And it will have a, um, a, non, a I think it has a, a non-standard stagger, if I recall. I don't know if it actually says it around here somewhere. Trying to find a picture that'll sh that'll show the stagger a little bit. P 
Talisman Solutions, thank you for the bits, man. And Grados, thank you for the sub. I'm pretty sure this has a non-standard uh, stagger as well. I'm trying to find in the post where it actually says that, though. Anyways, I'm not going to spend too much time looking at that. But in theory, this also has a non-standard stagger. So if that's not your thing, just be aware of that. But that's kind of... That's kind of often a trade-off when you, you know, have a layout like this and you want to do something like this, like a 40% with HHKB blockers um, without using, like, an ortholinear and stuff. So, you know, there's, there's trade-offs there. There's certainly, certainly trade-offs. Why does this look wrong? Oh, he has a Z and the X backwards. That's why that looks wrong to me. <laughs> now, that is some stagger, guys. <laughs> that is some serious stagger. <laughs> Looks like a 40% E6. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Like someone had said the number one earlier. Kind of looks like the number one. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, moving on. We had something else that you can't get anymore because it's out of stock. But I'm going to talk about it anyways. So here is the, uh, the Singa which is um, aptly named because it's, you know, by Singa keyboards as well. Um, polycarbonate version. They had some extras in stock, which was uh, pretty cool. This is done by uh, Singa. Oh, excuse me, guys. This is done by Singa slash uh, Cat Wee Wee, if you don't know who that is. Um, top mounted, $368 plus shipping. Gets you, come on, hurry up and load, a, uh, a polycarbonate kit there. And that will actually include uh, the top, bottom, the brass plate, and uh, the brass weights, the batting hardware, a TGR PCB, um, wind keyless tops only. So you got the, those blockers there. And uh, it, it can it will come with underglow, but you have to solder it on yourself. So, eh. It is the way it is. Actually, not too bad of a price. In my opinion, of course, it is out of stock. Yes, like I did mention already, but uh, but pretty pretty nice keyboard. The Singa is a pretty attractive seventy five percent, if I do say so myself. And uh, you know, this did happen in the last week, and unfortunately, it is out of stock, so none of us can buy it. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Unfortunately, I still wanted to bring it up so people were were aware there were extras. Now there, you know, there's there's a little bit of, a little bit of extras out there in the community. Talisman Solutions gifts a tier one sub to Don Donkey Kong Kill Screen. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much for that, man. Did I post the link to this? I did. Nice, nice. I'm 100% so far. 100% so far. All right, now we move on to a rather interesting key set. So, um, you know, if you're if you're German. <laughs> If your German is, you know, very, very good, you might be able to understand what all this stuff means, but mine is not. But uh, I do know a couple things here. Unikey is a subdivision of GMK. This is kind of like their custom keyboard division in a way. So they have, uh, they have released uh, keyboards under this moniker before. You can translate the page. I guess so. Google Translate's. Not very good, though. Um, regardless, all the stuff's pretty easy to figure out. Um, this is a... I'm pretty sure... Let me try to get my facts straight on this. So, of course, this is produced by GMK directly um, using stock colors. There is no MOQ. Um, it does ship immediately. And uh, this was designed by Living Speed Bump and rendered by Mito, is the information I currently have. So, uh, pretty interesting stuff. I, I think has I think this has kind of been a long time coming, right, guys? Like, GMK makes so many, so many um, key sets for us, like, for our community these days, that I think it was only a matter of time before they wanted to start pushing stuff out through their own storefront. So I, to me, this is kind of expected, but it's also, it's kind of cool in a way. 
Uh, the price is 149 euros, which, let's see how, uh, the euro used to be like one to one with a dollar at one point. Let me see, uh, if I get a calculator going here. Uh, euro to dollar. All right, so they're they're a little bit off now. 149 euro is about 170 USD. So, eh, this isn't necessarily a great price for a GMK set in the states, but uh, you know, if you're in the EU, this actually could be an absolute steal. So, very interesting stuff there. Nice colors. I wish this picture were a little bit bigger without looking. Without me having to magnet or zoom in. Um, the color was pretty good. Pretty good. It doesn't exactly blow me away, but um, I, I, I dig it. I dig it. What do you think about this, guys? What do you guys think of GMK starting to produce key sets that they just sell out of their storefront? Because I, for one, um, I, I, li I, I like to see this. This is really cool. But also, I wonder if this might mean we can get uh, really basic sets more easily in the future. Stuff like white on black, stuff like black on white, stuff like 9009 maybe. You know, like classic colorways that aren't, uh, you know, very... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say not very interesting because they're, they're dull. But a lot of people, like me, like dull. So... You know, kind of a kind of a trade off there, but it'd be really cool to see like cheaper key sets stocked through GMK that just have really simple colorways. Dolch on demand, exactly, just like that. Dolch, you know, black on white, white on black, stuff like that. Um, I think would actually be really cool. And obviously, they're you know we're, they're working with people like Living Speed Bump with with uh, with Mito, who you know actually know you know about the community, so they know the kind of compatibility that people need. They know like what's what's going on in the community, so. Really, really cool to see this. I, I hope we see more of it, honestly. They should stock Necro. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> Talisman Solutions gifting a sub to Avid User 2. Very nice. Thanks, man. Would like to see that price come down. Yeah. Yeah. I think... So I was kind of talking with someone uh, the other day about this, someone in the EU, and they were telling me, like, this is, like, a really good value. Because if you were to get a set that was being distributed from America, a GMK set, like, you know, you have you have a GMK set, which is stationed in Germany, um, that's shipped bulk to, like, the U.S., to a distributor, to a sorter, whatever. Those people, um, you know, do all the packing and stuff, and they redistribute it out to the rest of the world. So, for a lot of the EU people, or people that are just outside of wherever the group buy is held to begin with, you pay a lot. You know, you pay much higher shipping, you might pay that, you know, the import fees, stuff like that, uh, any local taxes, whatever what have you. Um, it really adds up. And so a lot of a lot of times these these people in the EU or other places outside of uh, the US for example are paying you know 200 250 you know upwards of $300 um, like for a GMK set that people in the states are paying like 170 bucks for. Um, so this is this is kind of it's it's nice to see that uh, I mean this with all due respect I really do. But it's really nice to see the U.S. getting screwed over on this one versus everyone else uh, in the EU. So, pretty, pretty neat to see. Um, Zombiemon even points out it includes the 19% VAT, exactly. So, pretty cool stuff. 20% cheaper for USA VAT. Yeah, so I mean, it's 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 cool to see people in the EU be able to get a set without spending way more than they should otherwise have to. So happy to see that. But I I really do hope this kind of trend continues. I I would like to see GMK Uniki start to actually stock, um, you know, at, le at least some basic sets, man. Like I should be able to buy GMK white on black or black on white on demand. That should be like, that should be a one-click order, man. I shouldn't have to wait for a group buy or something or someone else to run it or, you know, I shouldn't have to run it myself, whatever. 
I should just be able to click and buy black on white straight from GMK. Personal preference. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but it's my opinion. On demand, that's right. Um, and also they have uh, a little samples kit, forgot to mention. There we go. So this will this will run you at just, just 19 euro. So just like $22 or whatever. Twenty-one, twenty-two dollars. Kind of little, kind of little accent pack. It's cute. I like it. Just, it's. I don't think it's necessarily supposed to go like with a particular set per se. I think it's more of like, here are some colors that we can do, um, presumably stock colors. So you know, maybe you know, have some fun with this or something. So pretty cool. I like, I like these, and they're that's that's really not too bad of a price, honestly. Japanese horror writer donates 1,000 bits, says Rip. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, so this is just basically like some accent kits that you can, you can mess around with. Pretty reasonable price. All right, moving on to... Wait, I don't want to talk about that next. Sorry, guys. Wait, what is this? Why is that open twice? Alright, sorry guys. Um, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move into uh, this this topic, which is... <laughs> this caught me by surprise, but I think it's incredibly adorable. <laughs> so, amidst all the Holy Panda stuff going on right now, um, the key company and... Hold on, let me get the designer's name right. Oh, sorry. The designer is Winthia. It's commissioned by Clavier. And it's run through the key company. There. There we go. So we have a Holy Panda t-shirt. Um, I think it's absolutely adorable. I will probably be getting one because... Come on, guys. Holy Pandas. <laughs> Holy Pandas. Absolutely amazing. All right. Um, price... Not exactly cheap, but uh, I've probably spent more on a t-shirt in my life. So we have small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, and extra, extra, extra large. Um, with prices ranging between $25 and $27.50, depending on your size. So I am an extra, extra large kind of man, so it would cost me $27.50. Pretty interesting stuff. And, uh, you know, if you're maybe in the... One of those places that needs like exact measurements. There you go. What do you guys what do you guys think about this shirt, guys? I think it's pretty cool. Do you guys think there's actually like a um there's like a need or like a, a, a space for enthusiast keyboard clothing? Like is that is that something you guys want to see more of? Like I've like, I'm wearing a keyboard shirt now. Most days I wear a keyboard shirt because most of my wardrobe, in terms of shirts, is keyboard stuff nowadays. And uh, I love it. I love being able to represent my community. I love being able to represent, uh, you know, the brands I love, the organizations I love, um, stuff like that. Like, do you think shirts and, like, maybe even other clothing can be, like, more more of a thing in the community? I know, uh, like, Zombie just brought up uh, laser wear. They mass drop tried to push the uh, the laser clothing, which I think was kind of uh, polarizing. You know, laser is obviously a very intense intense colorway. Um, personally, I, I thought the clothing line looked looked okay um, myself, but, you know, I, I think a lot of people were a little, uh, a little hesitant on it. But, like, is that something that you guys think is is like actually potentially viable in this community. I'd like to know what you guys think on that, to be totally honest. I can't imagine trying to explain this t-shirt to someone outside the community. That's true as well. <laughs> like I have a, I have a shirt that says, I got 99 problems, but a Switch ain't one. And the Switch is like, it doesn't say Switch, it's a picture of a MX Switch. And people are always like, what is, what is that? 
<laughs> like, it's a key switch. <laughs> Talisman Solution says, always room for obscure and sardonic active wear. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> T-shirts, sure. Other clothing, eh. Fair enough. They'd have to have a good design on them. Totally get it. Totally get it. The Angry Ginger says, that's when parents pull their kids away and say... Come here, baby. Stay away from that man. <laughs> Amazing. Love it. Shirts, hats, and sweaters I'm down with. Yeah, so, I mean, it seems it seems kind of, kind of polarizing. Some people are cool seeing this stuff, and some people, maybe not so much. I like it, though. I definitely, definitely like it. So this is actually a group buy. That's open until... Where are you? Here we go. Open until January 2nd. 2019 so you have eh, about 13 ish days left to join the group by if you want and it ships in february so next month shipping um from when it closes not too bad only comes in white with that design keep it simple i like it very nice i'm gonna get one of these <laughs> i i feel like i could i could always use more keyboard clothing me. I could use more keyboard clothing. <laughs> swag. Exactly. Swag, swag. Swag. Alright, next up we have a, a bit of a, an update from Novel Keys. And uh, the reason I, uh, I decided to go with this one is because something, something really stood out to me. Um, they're actually working on wrist rests, which uh, is, is a little bit new. Of course, they have all the uh, you know all the updates for the group buys they have going on right now, which is great, uh, as well as they now stock Proton C QMK. Um, if I can't think of the word, not chips. What's the word of What's the word I'm looking for? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Um, anyways, they also have no um, oh, links. Sorry, guys. Crap, crap. Did I forget the? Uh, did I forget the link for microcontroller? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was driving me nuts. Um, did I forget the link for was it the Holy Panda shirt? I think I might have. Sorry, guys. Here's that as well. But uh, we're on to the novel keys stuff now, and uh, the wrist rests are what really kind of took me by surprise. Um, are, are these all sold out now? Um, wow. All right. So th there, there were more options here, but, uh, you're, you're limited to what you have now. But, uh, the cool thing about this that I, I thought was really interesting was because they're $15 and more often than not in this community, wrist stress are much more than that. So I was really excited to see a $15 wrist stress that actually looked pretty nice uh, in different sides. Like even the TKL one. 15 bucks and uh when i first opened this link i actually kind of went through um like all the options and they, they were all like the same price basically so i was i was very happy to see um an inexpensive wood wrist dress that are that are pretty nice in the community Ooh, that's nice i like that one like that so these are hold on i think these are made by like i think he said it somewhere Oh, here we go. So they're uh, they're handmade in uh, West Virginia by Mike of Novel Keys' brother. So uh, pretty cool stuff there. Keeping it keeping it family. Pretty pretty cool. I like that. So there's the uh, the dimensions there if you're interested. Um, there was I don't know why he's calling it HHKB size. I like, call it sixty percent size. <laughs> Like, HHKV isn't necessarily a size, so I would like to see that changed. But uh, either way, he had TKL in 60% sizes um, in white, mocha, natural, and red stains, and uh, two different types of wood. Poplar and red oak. And 
Pretty pretty attractive price, guys. Fifteen bucks is pretty inexpensive for a wrist wrist, especially um, one as large as the TKL. Love seeing that. What are you guys singing in chat now? Sabumon, please. 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 Alright, guys. Moving on to... Uh, hold on. I'm going to move this topic once again. Um, just, just so... Just so we can get to it at the end, because there's this a fair amount of stuff to say on the Holy Panda topic. So we'll, we'll I'm gonna save that for the uh, the end of the news doc, basically. All right. So next up, we have some single switch PCBs, which is yeah, pretty pretty interesting. I I would never really need one, but uh, you know, other other people more creative than me could. Zombie mod, what links are you sharing? I'm scared to open this. I'm gonna open it anyways. Is this ham own colorway clothing? <laughs> Sign me up for a shirt, please. <sighs> Sign me up. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> the bacon shirt. It needs more of like a ham own feel to it. <laughs> Anyway, sorry guys. Um, so here we got user uh, Zaner, Zaner running an interest check for single switch PCBs. Um, these are kind of just designed for odd shaped layouts like the dactyl, stuff like that uh, to enable a little bit easier uh, hand wiring. You know, makes it a little bit simpler. $2.49 each, so not, not too expensive. And, uh, yeah, for, for people that get into these kind of projects, definitely could be something to benefit from. But me, I, I'm too lazy, and I don't have enough time for these kind of intense hand-wiring projects and stuff of that nature. So, yeah. This is pretty cool, though, because I've seen, I've seen, like, dactyls and, um... What's what's the other one that's kind of uh, swooped like like the the ergo doc not the ergo docs sorry I can't think of the name the kinesis advantage um, stuff like that which have very ergonomic curves to them and it's you know, they have very odd button placement that's supposed to conform to your hands more um, here here is kind of you know something to help you so you can't the, the hand wiring isn't quite as obnoxious because hand wiring can be quite obnoxious. Um, it's less of a thing these days, I feel like. Hand wiring used to be, like, really, really big in the community. Um, lots of people doing it, um, because, you know, you couldn't get PCBs for a lot of your favorite boards that were, uh, particularly smaller than 60%. You know, now PCBs are, you know, a dime a dozen, and you can get PCBs for most 40% boards, and all those, like, there's, like, gherkin boards, 30%, like, all this random stuff, but, uh... For those those very abnormal, smaller, more compact layouts, you pretty much always had to hand wire it yourself, because there wasn't going to be a PCB for it. So um, this is this is pretty cool. This is kind of a step forward in that department, even though hand wiring is a little less popular these days. But nice to see an alternative for those uh, really really abstract layouts. Link, yes, sorry guys, I thought I posted it already, but I probably didn't because I am silly. I think I went to post it, and then I saw that Zombubon posted a link, and then I opened it up, and that was the bacon shirt. <laughs> so that's where we were there. Alright, so moving on, we have uh, something, something in the realm that we don't normally talk about that often. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about them today. So we actually have uh, an interest check for an artisan case. Um, I know we don't talk a lot about artisans on the show, but uh, you know I, I used to be pretty big into artisans, and I know a lot of you might be as well. There are a lot of uh, artisan collectors in the community, but uh, here's here's a pretty pretty interesting product. Artisan cases starting to become a little bit more of a thing, it seems. So well, I just gotta find something real quick. There we go. All right, so it's uh, it's an eight by twelve in terms of slots. And uh, the case is 11.25 inches by 9.25 inches by 1.5 inches. 
And uh, it's blasted acrylic, at least the middle is. And uh, the top and the bottom are aluminum, which is pretty, pretty darn interesting. I'm trying to find if there's a better link for pictures, but it is, oh, here we go. Album, bam, cool. So pretty darn nice. You got that, uh, that acrylic mid and um, window kind of thing on the top. Aluminum frame on that with an aluminum bottom. And this is, this is honestly kind of sexy, guys. Like, I don't really have enough artisans to display in this, in something like this anymore. But if I did, I like it. I definitely like it. So, uh, the, the lid's actually held in place uh, with magnets, which is pretty awesome. And, um, you can actually buy, I think... You'd be able to buy additional middles. Yeah, here we go. Additional middles, because you can actually stack the middles. So like, let's say you want, you just have a ridiculous amount of artisans, and you want like three middles, three eight by twelve middles. So you just have you put three of those in there, and then you know you clamp on the bottom, and you put the lid on. Bam! You got uh, eight by twelve uh, multiplied by three. So pretty, uh, pretty awesome system here, if I do say so myself. I do really like the way this actually is. Um, colors will come in polished aluminum, stormtrooper white, which is going to be a Cerakote, sniper gray, and burnt bronze, which are also going to be Cerakote. Pretty, pretty cool. I like that. What do you guys think about this? I don't know how many avid artisan collectors we have maybe in the top clack um, community, but uh, I, I definitely know that a lot, there are a lot, of, a lot of people out there that could totally benefit from something like this. And then your wife leaves you. <laughs> Check out Quantrix. It's the next on the news doc. I'm just, I, I'm looking at this one for what it is. And then we'll move on to the next one. And we will look at that for what it is. So. I didn't link this yet. I thought I did. My gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I do, I do like this a lot, though. Optional snack box engraving. Great name, by the way. Um, additional middles for stacking. And looking into carrying sleeves. Cool. I like that. Or an acrylic bottom option. So, no real discussion here on how much something like this would cost. Which is kind of unfortunate, but it is uh, it is pretty, pretty darn cool. So, I'll make sure to show interest in this if this is something you are into. And uh, we will also be moving next on to another artisan box. So... Obviously, two people had a very similar idea, and they said, hey, we need to have a box to store and display artisans in. So this is by user um, Cratastrophist, so which, is, which is actually Quantric, if you weren't aware, who uh, is responsible for boards like um, the QXP, which, uh, which I really like. We've had him on the show not too long ago. But uh, he's, he's releasing kind of a, an artisan container himself. Calling it the Quant Box, which is... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that name. But, uh, you know, that's just, just, just my personal opinion. <laughs> Anyways, so he's, his approach is a little bit different. So it looks like he has um, an all aluminum kind of uh, housing here and then just uh, uh, some kind of plastic on the top polycarbonate the rest of it is anodized aluminum he has a little bit of a, f a flip test here I guess we'll, we'll watch I'm gonna mute it though so presumably this is where he flips it and artisans fall out kind of huh All right, so ideally you probably don't want to turn this over, lest your artisans potentially, um, you know, move around within the box. I mean, it, it's understandable, right? Because like you have to have it tall enough to support uh, certain sculpts, but also you know short enough um, that they don't completely just fly all over the place. So it's kind of hard because so many different artisans have so many different sculpts, um, varying in height. So, eh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, 
All right, so pretty much stuff there. So he actually does uh, have pricing here, unlike, or at least estimated pricing, unlike the uh, the snack box. So here at a quantity of 50, we get 120 bucks, and a quantity of 100, you get um, for 100 bucks. So not exactly cheap, but you know, if you're a fine a fine connoisseur and purveyor of uh, fine artisanal resin keycaps, then uh, this actually could still be totally worth it for you. This um, this is a, a 12 by 5, as opposed to the snack box, which was an 8 by 12. So a little bit a uh, little bit more displaying power here, I think, since uh, you know it's just one layer. There's not a stackable thing. But uh, it's you know this may be a little bit more high end. Remove the topic screen part. Why does that even show up? I don't understand why that even shows up. Sorry, you guys. Um, anyways, colors will be black, silver, and they have uh, two mystery colors. So, um, knowing Quantric, it'll be like blue gray. This one will be blue gray, and then this one will be like uh, navy. I don't know. <laughs> because you've seen the topic. What really? Why does Geek Hack do that? That's so so silly. The link should always be the same if the page is the same. Per personal opinion. All right. So uh, holds sixty fine resin dudes. <laughs> Very nice. There are also screw holes in the butt, which is an odd place for screw holes, to allow for mounting legs at some point to prop it up 30 degree angle. So if we want to display them on like a desk or on a, you know, a shelf or something, um, that is definitely going to be the way to go. The snack box is ballpark $165, but they're trying to get it cheaper. Wow. That's kind of expensive. Um, yeah, would be very, very nice to see that uh, cheaper. But yeah, this could be really cool. Something to, to keep around with you at meetups and stuff. Um, I know in the past um, there have been artisans stolen at meetups. Um, you know, whether they're just sitting on keyboards or sitting on desks, um, and that's obviously incredibly unfortunate. Don't steal shit. Um, so having something like this will actually be a little bit more convenient if you want to take your artisans to, let's say, a meetup, and you want to display them or show them to people, carry them around, whatever, um, in a little bit more of a convenient manner. So definitely, definitely something, something you can consider. I like it. Talisman Solutions gives a tier one sub to Beadlocks. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on to uh, what a lot of you have probably been waiting for here. Um, the, the Holy Panda updates about what's going on. Um, I made a, I made a post. Okay. So here's, let me, let me break it down for you. So I made a post yesterday, December 19th, 2018. Um, I put it up very early in the morning, 6 a.m. Pacific time. Cause I actually, I wrote it the night before and, um, I, I wanted to do some kind of write up on the holy what holy pandas were what what's going on with them right now and all the samples that i have so obviously i have the original holy panda board um you know it use it's the very first holy panda board it's what inspires the rest of them it's an awesome holy panda board um if you saw my stream i don't know a few weeks ago a month ago maybe at this point um, on the newly launched Jesus switches, which is the Panda alternative, um, I made uh, I made a board. I built uh, my X60 with not my X60, sorry, my M60 with uh, Jesus switches, and I put Panda stem, not Panda stem, sorry, Halo stems in there to effectively make holy pandas, or as other people will be calling them, holy Jesus. And uh, I, I compared them. I compared them with the older Holy Pandas, the original ones, and they feel basically the same, um, which was cool. And people were like, okay, are you also going to get uh, the Mass Drop Holy Panda samples? And I was like, yes, because Yanbo of Mass Drop told me I was going to be receiving samples for um, the Mass Drop Holy Pandas. And I went, awesome, sweet, love that. So I got those in, I don't know, less than a week ago, and that's... Um, 
I already I sent some out to uh, Man of Interest, so I have a few less now. But he just he sent me fifteen of the uh, these holy pandas, and uh, so I was like, cool. And last night, or not last night, sorry, the night before last, I, I spent a couple hours writing up this uh, this holy panda article, which basically encompasses a few different things. It's it's um, kind of like a history on holy pandas, I guess you can say. Um, followed by what's going on now, and then um, at the end is it, it kind of is my uh, my comparison, which is pretty much what everyone was there for. Comparison, conclusion. Um, about how I feel about it. Very, very, very brief. Um, you know, basically, they are all the same, um, functionally. You can use one, and it'll feel just like the other. I couldn't pick them out from a blind test, most likely. Anyways, moving on. After I posted the article yesterday, um, later on in the day, um, I wake up to, to some messages and some, uh, you know, some... I won't say who said what, but I woke up to some information that was very, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> and I, I'm not going to talk about like, what that information was because that's irrelevant. What mattered is what that led to. And what that led to was me learning that um, these samples from Mastrop are not actually of the new Holy Pandas. They are original run Holy Pandas from the original mold with Halo stems that uh, Mastrop put together themselves and then sent me. So the reason I can't tell the difference between an original Holy Panda and the samples that Mastrop sent me is because they're actually still an original Holy Panda. And that's exactly why they felt like that. And that's exactly why I decided to write about it and say, hey, they're the same, because lo and behold, they are. Um... But what I, I didn't know until later on um, yesterday was that they were originally... These the Master Drop samples are original Holy Pandas. Original run pandas and Halo stems. And I you know I hit up Yonbo of Master Drop and I was kind of just like, hey, like what's going on here? And I was like... Uh, the first thing I asked him, I was like, hey, are the new, are the new Holy Panda switches going to be using... Um, 100%, 100% confirmed to be the original Holy Panda, or the original Panda mold, um, just, you know, with, with updates to make it work, obviously. And, uh, 100% to be using the, uh, Halo stems, and he said, yes, that is 100% the plan. And then, uh, you know, I asked him a few more questions, he went on to tell me that, uh, you know, the samples that I had weren't, like, actually gonna be the new run of Holy Pandas. Uh, it should just be what they are, because they are gonna be using the same mold. Anyways, long story short, um, let me just let me just read the uh, the update because it's probably a little bit better. All right, so this is my update uh, later on yesterday. So I say this is very important. Please continue to read. I won't edit the original post as so many people have already read through it. Anyways, um, I just got done talking with Mastroff about Holy Panda some more, and new information has been presented. The Holy Panda switch samples that I received from Mastroff are not the final production units. They were not made from the new slash repaired B-Sun Panda molds. They are, in fact, original Inver Pandas using the Halo stems. So with this new information, we are back to a place where we technically do not have a proper sample yet from Mastrop. I apologize for this mix-up, as I was not aware these samples were not using the updated molds. Mastrop has told me that I will be receiving the real samples at some point um, that I estimated date. And then I, then I added a little bit. Um, so this this is this has been kind of a weird situation, right? Because why why would Mastrop send me original Holy Pandas, which I already have in a board, um, to display these as the new as as samples as samples of uh, the new Holy Pandas? And I've been fighting with that back and forth um, in my head, trying to figure it out, and. Um, and I, I, I kind of thought about it a little bit, then I made this a little bit of an edit, where I say, Let me be clear, though. I don't believe it was Mass Drop's intention to fool me or deceive me. I do still believe they can, and probably will, deliver a product that is very close or exactly like a Holy Panda. I'm just a little bit confused as to why the samples I had received were originals. Though, I never actually asked if they were the new mold or not, so I guess I'm partially at fault. I should never assume anything. I think this was more mass drop saying, this is what they should feel like, because, um, you know, th the way they're, they're aiming this, the way that this is supposed to go down is they are going to use the same molds. 
So they should feel the same. Um, they just have to make repairs on the molds because they are they are damaged. But uh, I, I learned I learned earlier today that, um, that apparently the damage on the mold has nothing to do with the actual like um, the part that molds the switch. I'm not scientific at all here, guys. I'm sorry. But um, I don't remember the, the actual proper terms. But uh, the part that's damaged has nothing to do with what actually uh, results in the switch's uh, parts themselves. So, um, in theory, they are not going to feel any different. And, uh, you know, I've been talking back and forth with Yanbo, like, almost nonstop the last two days now. And um, it, it's, it's, I mean, he's... He's, he's definitely, he's apologized. I like Yanbo of Mass Drop. He's a nice guy. Him and I have always had very pleasant conversations. I've talked to him multiple times in person at meetups. He's a pleasure to be around and he always helps me out. Um, you know, he, he gives me all this info and he answers all of my questions seemingly very honestly, uh, which I do really love and appreciate. But I was, I was just confused as to why I got samples like this and he's like okay yeah sorry for not being clear i should have been more clear on that and i was like yeah well i, I should have asked as well i just, i shouldn't i should never assume anything but um he did uh he did tell me that he is he is working as fast as he possibly can to get me samples once uh the mold is actually fixed he's at first he was saying like i i'm hopefully gonna have you enough samples for you um you know by january 20th um, hopefully, if not, it's probably going to be early March, um, enough for a board at least. And then, uh, earlier today, he told me that, um, he's going to be trying to get me samples using the new mold before the end of the month, which seems really, really ambitious to me. I, I, I absolutely would love that. And I hope that, uh, he's able to get me samples from, um, the updated mold, like the true final production unit mass drop, Holy Pandas. Because if I'm not testing that, there's little point to testing a switch, right? Because there's so much variance that can go in, um, you know, to such such a small such a small manufactured thing. So you know, I, I need these final samples so I can get the the information out there to people. So that's the plan. I, I hope he can get them to me by the end of the month. That would be absolutely amazing because that's when the drop closes. And it would be cool to have uh, the information out there before people, um, you know, either can't join the drop, or uh, you know, maybe maybe they just don't want to. So that's that's kind of where we're at right now, guys. It's kind of kind of a bombshell, but uh, it it is what it is. Josie Brewer to sub with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. And Talisman Solutions gets another sub. This one to Shoko Ai. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, sorry guys, I haven't been looking at chat at all, I have no idea what any of you guys have been talking about in chat while I've been seeing this stuff, but, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now on the Holy Panda situation. Um, you know, as usual, what I want and what I want for Top Clack is to be neutral. Um, you know, virtually Top Clack is, you know, we're, we're journalists, kind of. The, the idea is to get proper, accurate information out there to the masses. Um, in, in a concise way. That's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. That's kind of where I want to stay. I want to be neutral. I don't, I'm not trying to make enemies with mass drop or this creator, or that creator, or this designer, or that vendor. Like that's not my goal here. I try to, I really try to maintain a good and healthy relationship with like everyone in the community. And to do that, I have to, I have to be objective and I have to be neutral. So... Just trying to keep that there. I'm not blaming Mass Drop for anything. I think it's kind of weird they sent me these without telling me um, what exactly they are. But could be a miscommunication, misunderstanding. Um, you know, I didn't ask. And when I did ask, he was very open and upfront about it. So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to make any enemies here or anything. Um, wow, so many subs just rolled in. What the heck? The Archdill just subbed. Thank you very much, Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. And Talisman Solutions gives another sub, this time to 27. Very nice. And Fabry Rock 91 just subs with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, guys. Have to call a spade a spade. Yep. 
that's that's the way it is. Like you know, I have to be truthful. There's no point. I even I, I made a someone I, I I posted this this uh, article that I have for here on the page. I, I posted this also on uh, RMK, and it did did like really well. It was like one of my highest voted posts ever. Um, in terms of like percentage, it was on the front page for a while, lots of commenters. And one person was like, are you sponsored by Mass Drop? And I was like, no, <laughs> not only am I not sponsored by Mass Drop, it would be stupid of me to be biased on any review, but from any product ever, because when people get it and realize that I was lying, then I'm going to get absolutely destroyed and my reputation is going to go. <laughs> so basically there's no, there's no ever reason for me to like. To lie about anything. There's there's no reason at all. Alright, guys. Anyways. Um, not that we're necessarily done talking about this, because we can talk about this as long as you guys want, pretty much. But I'm gonna I'm gonna move into a little bit of a sponsor spot. Because, you know, Top Clack has sponsors and they help us do the awesome things that we do and uh, you know, put out content for you guys that you guys hopefully enjoy. So, starting off, we have a NovelKeys.xyz, who has a bunch of different epic stuff in stock, including uh, the Galactic Empire DSA pre-order, which is open right now. Very, very lovely. Also, tons and tons and tons of desk mats, and they have the DSA Katakana group I open right now. QMK Proton Seas in stock. Um, wrist rest in stock, or at least TKL ones right now. And um, like I was showing off earlier, they have some new black bottom clear top, or not clear top, sorry, milky top uh, Gatterons in stock right now, as well as a bunch of different silent Gatterons with all black housings, which is something I've, I've been asking for all black housing Gatterons for like eight months now. Absolutely, absolutely love them. So yeah, pick up lots of cool things there. Love it. And while you're there, use promo code TOPCLACK and you'll get 5% off your entire order. That's top clack, two words, not one. I'll get you 5% off, so save you a little bit of uh, dollar reduce there. Next up, we have Kono.store, who is uh, kind of a storefront for Input Club. They, uh, they too, weirdly, have uh, DSA Galactic Empire for a pre-order right now. I'm, not, I'm still not sure why both <laughs> Two American vendors have that, but uh, either way, they have lots of other cool stuff going on right now. Of course, they have the uh, Gemini Dusk and Gemini Dawn pre-orders open, which are basically like $140 K-type killers. Uh, really like the value on this. They're working with hex gears, and it's it's a really really good value. It's like a K-type, but better and cheaper. Hot swap RGB, fully programmable. Um, you know, PBT caps, the works. GMK Calm Depths is also still open. Group by phase, if you're into that. It's only uh, $125, if I recall. Yep, so one of the cheaper GMK sets we've seen in a while. And the base kit is still pretty darn rich. They also just launched a uh, group by for the Infinity Ergo Docs, which is something they're bringing back. They used to be a very popular keyboard a couple years ago. Um, really nice stuff there. And uh, yeah, absolutely great. Next up, we have the Beast in the East, Z Frontier, who has a ridiculous amount of key sets in stock, as always, once that link loads. Okay. And uh, they will also be the vendor for the Mars 6.5 that we talked about towards the beginning of the show, that, uh, that cool keyboard with that kind of very unique swoop going on there. They have the Typewriter 68 still going on there. And um, I think... Like, wait, we just got word very recently that uh, GMK Shoko did not make MOQ, um, but even between all the vendors, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, because that set is lovely, and the group by runner is lovely, and all the proxies are lovely. So I'm um, hoping, hoping in the near future we can get that run again and actually hit MOQ. And that'll be that'll be really, really cool. Um, also, they have stuff uh, group by going on for JTK triple shots which have been uh, kind of flying under the radar. But, uh, you know, pretty cool. Hoping to get samples of that as well. And last but not least, we have Zeal Generation at zealpc.net, um, who has all the new Zeal stuff in, in, uh, in products, all the new keyboard switches and stuff he's been working on. He's been, he's been buried under packages for the last, like, week or two now. Um, he, 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 doesn't really, he doesn't really sleep or eat anymore. He just packs and ships switches over the last couple of weeks. 
<laughs> so he's got his entire new lineup of V2 Zeal products, um, including, but not limited to, uh, Zelios V2, Xylance V2, Helios, which are the new Silent Linear. He's got the updated Telios, which he doesn't call V2, but I think he should. And, um, you know, he has new PCBs as well. Pretty awesome stuff. I actually just, uh, I have more switches on the way I just ordered the other day. Love. I'm really, really, really loving. The Xylance in particular have really, really surprised me. And, um, yeah, like you guys are saying in chat, sorry. Um, Zeal, we do have an affiliate link with Zeal. So if you want to use zealpc.net slash topclack, um, it's .net, guys, it's not .com. <laughs> zealpc.net slash topclack. Um, that'll give, uh, give us a kickback here at Top Clack. Um, it doesn't cost you anything extra, of course. It just, um, gives us a little bit of a percentage back when you buy Zeal products. Um, so yeah, that definitely helps us out a lot. If you want to support Top Clack and you want to buy Zeal stuff, make sure you're using zealpc.net slash Top Clack. All right, guys. Is that my, yeah, that's my Christmas layout. All right. All right. <laughs> Now, uh, I've, I've, I've spent way more time going through the news than I expected to. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dial in I'm gonna dial in my uh, wizard compatriot here, and uh, we will hopefully get him in very very smoothly. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna stand by while we're we're summoning the wizard. Okay, I, I think the wizard has been summoned. Let me make sure I, I get this right here. Huzzah, wizard! Hello! Oh wait, there's still text over your name. Hold on, I gotta change uh -oh. that. <laughs> Sorry, technical guys. difficulties. Just, just... Speaking of technical difficulties, I, I am in Washington as well, so my power may go out too. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's whatever. Oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, I, actually, I, I totally forgot to tell people, actually, at the beginning of the episode, but, um, yeah, so, if if you guys weren't aware, actually, in Washington, where both me and Mech Merlin are, there's been uh, a high wind advisory, in effect, with wind, wind speeds up to, like, 60, 65 miles per hour or something, which is pretty insane, uh, for it's out here, at down least. now, but it's, it's still high. <laughs> yeah, so, I, when I woke up today and I saw that, and I, I heard the wind outside my apartment, I was like... Holy crap. Like, there's no way my power is staying on today. Like, that would just not even happen. So, uh, thankfully, the keyboard gods have, you know, sh shown, shined, shined upon shown. me. Shown? Okay. <laughs> that sounded wrong in my head. I don't know. They have shown upon me, and uh, Top Clack Christmas special was able to go on today. Somehow we still have power. Yeah. Uh, fi fingers crossed it doesn't go out before the end of the stream. <laughs> So, uh, it, but if it does, you know, we'll figure it out from there. Anyways, Mech Merlin, thank you very much for joining me. We appreciate it. Um, for those of you that uh, might not know, or for those people out there that might not know who you are, why don't you give us just a quick rundown of who you are and what you do in our fantastic keyboard community. All right, so I, I run a YouTube channel where I, where I do keyboard reviews, um, tutorials, and I also cover meetups. The last one I did was NorCal, and I'm also a QMK collaborator, which is the best keyboard firmware. The best key... Wait. Oh, yeah. Have you... <laughs> okay, that's fair. I was going to say, have you tried VIA yet? But I guess VIA is still kind of yeah, QMK yes, in the have, back end, right? <laughs> I've got it running on my ZL60 right now. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So... It's, it's kind of been a top clack tradition um, to have another content creator join us for our Christmas special. Uh, we've kind of just unknowingly have done that the last like two years. So uh, I'm kind of, I'm going to keep that tradition alive. That's why I so asked. I'm the second one that's joined then. No, you're the <laughs> third. Because oh, we started, we started in 2000, or wait, hold on. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I think we went. <laughs> we started August 2016, so that would mean 
that would be December 2017 Christmas and December 2018. Okay, so yes, you are technically <laughs> technically the second the second the second guest guest. But that's 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 okay. That's okay. Also, Geo gives five more subs. Holy crap! It's like ten subs today, my dude. Thank you very much for that. Anyways, Christmas special. We have uh, a wizard on um, with the incorrect hat, but that's okay. Hey, See, it's wait, Christmas. Like wait, th this is my usual hat right here. But if I were to wear it, it kind of like extends past my camera. <laughs> you should you should give me the Santa hat. Oh that, really? That, that way that way I can you know actually have one <laughs> because I was sad and couldn't find one. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, we we spent a little bit of time before the show trying to come up with uh, some some fun questions, some discussion points that have been a little bit more Christmas related, keyboard related for you guys. Um, holy crap, Andrew just gifts ten tier oh. one subs. Thank you so much for that. You are wow, that's a lot of. There have been so many subs today. That is insane. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that, guys. Merry Christmas to you as well. Someone went insane. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so yeah, we wanted to kind of uh, think of discussions that would include the chat. Because it, it's kind of more fun to get everyone together. You know, it's Chris. I mean, it's not actually Christmas, but it's it's effectively Christmas. And uh, we kind of wanted to just see, you know, how you guys felt about some things. So, you know, uh, Mech Merlin has uh, a few questions that we can start out with and uh, kind of get you guys involved. Let's let's all talk together and have a good time. I wish I had some bourbon and eggnog, but I don't yeah. have I don't have bourbon or eggnog in my house right now. <laughs> so sadly, I have water. All right, so <laughs> Nebula is asking, saying, telling me to ask you why you hate Zombumon. Why do I hate Zombumon? I don't. I. <laughs> I bought almost all of his key sets. Almost, but not all. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, you hate him. Yes, I um, missed out on GMK Amazing Chocolatier. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, so, sa save save any like Q&A style questions for a little bit later. Um, we will do a Q&A at the end of the show, as we always do, and uh, Mech Merlin will be there for that, so if you have questions for him, save them for then as well. But uh, let's let's get into some some Christmas Keeb uh, discussion points and thoughts, because we, we came up with a few that I, I was actually pretty proud of. So, uh, let's uh, let's start out. What do, we, what do we got first, Merlin? Okay, first question. What keyboard accessories and or keyboards work best as stocking stuffers all right so stocking stuffers guys in chat what do you what do you guys think work best for stocking stuffer gifts as far as keyboard stuff goes i've been trying to think about this and i was actually ne me and nebula are actually on the same the same page i was thinking what what keyboards can you fit in stockings um and i think I, i've seen a lot of pretty big stockings so you could probably fit pretty pretty big keyboards you probably do like 40% maybe, or like numpads. <laughs> yeah, Nebula says plonk, so yeah. Plonk, yeah. I, I really I really like the idea of just having an entire keyboard in your stocking. I haven't had a stocking <laughs> since I was like 16, but yeah. You, you, we, we're getting old, man. <laughs> we're getting oh, old. Man. Christmas is always about kids. Go Blue Bro, oh wow, chat's moving so fast. Go Blue Bro says macro pads. Macro pads. I, I dig it. Nebula says keycap pullers. You know what we really need in the community that we just like haven't. I feel like we haven't really had is like a really really high end keycap puller. Like something like really really nice and premium. Like made out of titanium. You yeah. Can ask Rama to make one. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> like like wire. It could still be a wire puller, sure. But like something that's just better than what you just get out of a box, like from uh, like a stock keyboard. QMK powered. Geo says genuine QMK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cables, mod kits, <laughs> TGR Jane V2. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Novel keys, big switch. That's that's a, that's a yeah, good that's, one. That's that's doable. A lot of people saying lube. Wow. Yeah, lube, lube in your stocking. Lube, lube makes sense. Lube makes sense. Stabilizers. Gherkin, because I'm evil? What? 
nice. Switch crackers. Yeah. B stock novel keys desk mats. How big are these stockings that you guys this have? Looks like, yeah. Are, are they as big as my wizard hat? I mean, they're. I'm, I'm using one right now, and it's pretty pretty big. Um. Pack of switches. Yeah, I guess I don't really think about it, but like almost everything in the keyboard community is pretty small, <laughs> aside from like physical like custom housings and stuff. Switch pain twenty seven. I feel like I've heard that before. Colorblind glasses for Jessica says Beadlux. Hey, um, wow. I, I'm actually partially colorblind too, and so is Quakums. Yes, but I don't design key sets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you have to go with a cable switch tester. All right. Very nice. Macro pads, launch pads, artisans, accurate color GMK keycap samples. Oh, like a color ring or something. That could be oh, cool. Oh, yeah. That could be cool. Those are pretty pretty chunky, though. They are, aren't they? Hmm. Oh, my God. Hyper 7 PCV. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How about the Scrabble Pad PCV? <laughs> Stem Shaver. Man, I wish. Yeah. I really need to get one of those. I need to message that guy and see if I can buy one. Christmas Kane says, Tiny Makes Things is a great stocking stuffer. She's, well, she's oh. very small. That's true. That'd have to be a big stocking. <laughs> <laughs> She's really small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hyper 7. ES-121. Nanch set. There you go. Uh -huh. Like practical stuff for, for keyboard builders. I like that. ESD tweezers. Yep. GMK Necro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you could put GMK sets in my stock. I'd be okay with that. How about GMK trays? Oh, no. Get that out of here. Get <laughs> trays out of here. I just melt those down. I just like to watch them burn because they're so bad. <laughs> All right. Wow. A lot of, lot of options there. From yeah. You, you guys are way more creative than me. I was like, I don't know what I'd put in mind. <laughs> totally makes sense though. Very cool. All right. What do we got? What do we got next? What is our next discussion point there? What is our next question for Twitch chat? All right. Um, let's see. What is the most keyboard enthusiast item that you would feel comfortable asking a loved one for Christmas for? Assume loved one is a pleb. Yep. So, what, what are you guys asking your loved ones for in terms of keyboard-related stuff? Even if they're plebs. Assuming they're plebs. Also, Pudsy, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Pudsy says, my mom got wow. me a weaven last Christmas. That's really nice. That's, wow. That's that's pretty cool. A lot of people saying lube now. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. Oh lube. my gosh. They'd be like, why do you want lube for Christmas? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Ask. You get ask your parents, <laughs> <laughs> ask your ask your family. You know, for for lube. <laughs> Geo significant other bought him JTK Hyperfuse. Wow. wow, very nice. A nice soldering iron. There you go. Yeah, a lot of a lot of building stuff. Soldering iron, you know, ESD tweezers, um, you know, a driver set. Things of that nature. A, a, lube, a brush set. A lube, lube with brush set. Okay. Permission to buy a keyboard. <laughs> wow. Mr. Petrov asked for a Hako solder gun and an electronic screwdriver. What? <laughs> Tal Smith Solution says relief from alimony. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That could be more than a keyboard. 
QMX clips. Wow, do people still use those? Mm-hmm. I really... Like, QMX clips and... Z, and uh, what, what was the Zeal equivalent called? Zeal... Zilencio. Zilencios. Yeah, I I wasn't a fan of either of those, to be honest. I think they were I think they they were effective, but they just didn't feel very good. Asked for lube, got KY in return. Wow. <laughs> Soldering iron upgrade. Hmm. Samumon is telling you not to die. Yeah. I'm recovering from NorCal, so I like I came back with a really bad cold. I'm still coughing to this very day. That was like a month and a half I, ago. I know, a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Nor NorCal kick, kicking your ass. Yeah. It's all that smog that I inhaled. KB Warriors says, give me way in a stocking. <laughs> Don't lose your way. A desoldering station. Yeah. Hmm. What about what about you? What about you, Merlin? What what would what would you ask your significant others or oh my your, gosh, your family yeah. for? I think like wise? the first year that I got it, into this hobby, I asked my girlfriend, wife now, um, for a GMK key set, and she's like, "Oh sure, how much are those?" I'm like, "Um, <laughs> expensive," and she was like. For plastic, for plastic, that's how much you that you spend on those. I'm like, yeah, but nowadays <laughs> it's like I show her sets that I buy, and she's like, oh, that looks really good. That's probably close to two hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah, she doesn't <laughs> bat an eye. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're in. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I I I have no clue what she's giving me this Christmas, but I got a few boxes in. But none of them are keyboard size, so hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Well, she she's very supportive of your hobby, from what I've seen yeah, at least, yeah. which is which is very nice. A good webcam for top clack? What? My webcam's fat. <laughs> it's a four K webcam. It's just the it's the gray snow that's messing everything up. <laughs> oh man. Matt, wait, sorry, Meathead Villain is asking, or saying, Merlin low-key looking leafy. Leafy. <laughs> what is leafy? Yeah, what... huh? hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Tsushimi says, I asked for a postal scale and some calipers this year for weight, for weighing boards and science stuff. Yeah, I use... I actually just recently got a, a pair of, a pair of calipers. I guess saying a pair of calipers doesn't make sense. I recently got calipers, <laughs> and uh, having a kitchen scale is, is very very helpful for that kind of stuff as well for for weighing obviously. An updated KBD fans website. What? I do not like being able to open new tabs when I want to view certain items. No, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, what do we got next? Okay, this one's gonna this one's gonna be fun. What is Santa's exact keyboard build? Ooh, okay. So what is what does Santa use, guys? What is Santa's custom keyboard build? What does he use like for springs? What does he use for switches? What kind of plate material does he like? Is he a polycarbonate kind of guy? What kind of keycaps. I think I think Santa would use GMK Hamon. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of lube. RGB. Oh, of course, RGB. Yeah. Mr. Petrov says Razor Huntsman Elite. No custom, all RGB. JTK Cola. Oh, yeah, nice. A throwback to uh, wow the, the Coca Cola, the Coca Cola um, Santa stuff silver anno plate red case with jtk cola interesting razor keyboard <laughs> ice caps wow <laughs> what kind of mounting mechanism would this be yeah i i actually spent a couple minutes trying to figure out like what i think 
what I think Santa's ideal keyword would be. And I, I, I pretty much drew blanks. Mm. Um, and not like GMK blanks or anything. Cookies and cream switches. Nice. Nice. Corsair K65. You think Santa's probably an OEM kind of guy. I just, I, I'd be curious to know if he were a custom guy, like what, what he'd use. He looks like an SA type of guy. Is that because he's big? Are big people more of SA types of guys? Would he make the keyboard himself or would his elves make it? Hmm. What does he outfit his elves with uh, <laughs> in terms of like soldering equipment? Creams with red stems. Interesting. JK, JTK Arctic. Dude, <laughs> Starson says, dude is old, so beam spring or something made out of candy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beep, I can see beam spring. <laughs> he probably has some kind of like crazy custom beam spring contraption. Sandwich mount because he's fat. Nice. <laughs> that math adds up. Floating plate. Hmm. Slay mount. How about a, how about an ice plate? How how would you feel about using an ice plate, Merlin? Like it's an ice plate. Yeah, assuming that assuming your environment allows it to stay solidified. What do you think it'd be like typing on an ice plate? I feel like it'd be like. Oh man, it'd probably sound a lot like five millimeter brass. <laughs> yeah, I'd just be afraid of it cracking because I'm like a very heavy bottom out typist. It's a hypothetical Every time scenario. I type, like... <laughs> Grado says Santa is definitely a buckling spring kind of guy. Nice, I get it. I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> What does um, Santa wear across his waist? A buckle? Yes! <laughs> uh... <laughs> or maybe that's just me. I, I, would have, I would have always just called it a belt, but I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Shoko Ae says he'd use Xylent V2s on a retype on RGB since his wife would kill him with... So, wait, sorry. Since his wife will kill him with all the typing on the nice and naughty list, otherwise, yeah, something quiet maybe. That makes that. See, you're you're thinking you're thinking deep, man. You're really thinking outside the box. I like that. GMK Red Samurai. <laughs> Elves. Santa loves slave slave labor. <laughs> I think he would use G GMK camping actually. Hmm. Agree. Christmassy colored set. It's true. Green, red, and beige. <laughs> All right. All right. What else we got? Because we have a couple more that I'm, I'm pretty happy about. All right. This one. <laughs> this one. What would you have to use as a keep enthusiast to be put on Santa's naughty list? All right. What's, what keyboard or keyboard component do you have to use? For Santa to to be put on the to not the naughty list, so you're no, you're no longer getting getting presents. <laughs> Huntsman, everyone immediately just defaults to Razor oh and like gosh. MX Blues <laughs> or or like MX Browns. Oh, Melody gets it. Split space bar. There you go. Easy, easy naughty list. Two U splits. Otemu oh, switches. Split right shift. What? Split right shift is is fantastic. <laughs> Although I guess that doesn't necessarily have to do with uh, being naughty. Hmm. I think I think mixing GMK sets would put you on the naughty list. Sabuban says fake chocolate here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. I think I need to show people for contacts. What do you think, Quake? Sure, sure, yeah. Okay, absolutely. okay. So um, this past weekend, I went down to Portland because 
this was our family Christmas celebrations, and it's the only time that everyone can get together in the same spot. So we did a little gift exchange, and my sister-in-law bought me key set. <laughs> they are lasered PBT and an essay. <laughs> oh man, are they? <laughs> Who actually makes the caps? Are they like Max Keys or something? Um, she said she got them on Amazon. They're called One Cap. One Cap. One Cap, that? One Key, One Something. But yeah. Zambumon, I'm so sorry, but I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look so... at how thin that is. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not, uh, <laughs> definitely not a Max Key. <laughs> yeah. But they're PBT. Alright, so putting you on the naughty list, people say old <laughs> box switches. Super lube on Telios. Ugh. Super lube grease on any switch is pretty extreme. Zorro Browns. Yeah, Zorro Browns are pretty bad. But see, the, the beauty of this question is it's not just saying... It's not just about using what is good or bad. It's using what would put you on the naughty list. So something could be good and put you on the naughty list. Hmm. ISO. Romer G's. Ortho linear. ISO layout, MX Brown, split spacebar, and 2U left shift. Oh boy. A lot of chat interaction. This is great. Thanks, guys. You guys are killing it right now. GK64. Stepped caps. You think Santa doesn't approve of stepped caps? Wow. Hmm. EPBT stabilizers and the FANU. So it's so like knockoff or claimed knockoff stuff. Pretty much any knockoff item you'd be uh, on the naughty list. Yeah, okay. Okay, that that's interesting. Hole tights. Yes. Hole tights are pretty naughty. <laughs> <clears throat> Zabubon wants you to do a review for that key set. <laughs> okay, well, it, it, there, there's no contest between an actual essay set, but I think this was um, That's the, whole point. the price. <laughs> I, think, I think it's like 70 bucks. <laughs> the Rage at Asian says, This is a guaranteed naughty list, and he links a picture of Nathan Kim licking the inside of a keycap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is freaking amazing. All brass custom with aluminum quote unquote weight for the walls. Yeah, I think I think using an all brass keyboard is just like instant naughty list to begin with, right? <clears throat> like that just that just makes sense. Tie how rubberized caps. Wow, yeah. PMS and Chicken subs for nine months in a row with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for that, sir. Interesting. Okay. Glass stems. Is that a thing? <laughs> From Jimmy. What? Hmm. Like the fun kind of dirty. <laughs> Anything that sexy must be naughty. Exactly. That's the whole point. Like, it doesn't have to be a bad thing to be naughty. It just has to be naughty. Using pandas as linears. <laughs> Gold keycaps. Hmm. Like, like I, I would almost interpret the question as, like, what do I feel... Like... What do I feel, like, dirty? Like, what do I feel guilty using? But it's still like a guilty pleasure. Like a rubber dumb keyboard. 
but I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Like, what do you, what do you like in the keyboard community, but feel guilty about? Feel guilty about. That's a hard question. Oh man. MX Browns. Do you? I actually do. Um, I've I've, I've said it a few times. They're they're my favorite linear switch. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hmm. Box jades, silent switches, old box switches. Brian's gonna say SA. I don't like typing on SA though. I like looking at SA. I don't like typing on it though. Good knockoffs. Accent spacebar. Light linears. Wow, yeah. See, so now, now you guys are starting to understand oh, the question. There we go, yeah. Got her on clears. Oh, those are so light. Those are tough. <laughs> Guilty pleasures, yeah. Um, oh, um, I like to use my non-QMK powered boards. That's like... But it's not like a guilty pleasure because of that. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm cheating on QMK, here we go. <laughs> it's like, it's like you do it because you have to, basically. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. I feel like I have something really good for this, but like, I can't think of it. I mean, integrated plates are be are quickly becoming one for me. I know a lot of people really don't like integrated plates. I've been loving them. What switches do you use on them? I've tried pretty much everything. Like, uh, I'm about to rebuild, once my Zeal switches, my next batch of Zeal switches arrive, I'm going to rebuild my um, M60A and my Tokyo 60, um, both with hot swap, um, integrate, hot swap PCBs and integrated plates, and uh, SMD RGBs, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be goodness. But, uh, yeah, I've tried, like, everything. Like, I had, I had, my M60, I had the V2 Xilance. I thought it was tremendous. Even the stock Xilance, I thought it was really, really great. Um, I had the Holy Jesus in there as well. That, that was oh, wow. also very nice. Um, I've just done like retooled blacks in my integrated plate on um, my Tofu Winkulus. Also not terrible. So I, I don't know. I've been I've been having a great experience with integrated plates lately. I think it just it allows you to kind of tune the switch in different ways to try to like change and counteract maybe how the integrated plate would otherwise feel. Hmm. Click jacket. Interesting. Hot swap, high end custom. Exactly. Like the M60. Like, a, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not adverse to the times. Like, I, a hot swap is convenient. It might not be perfect, but it's really convenient. Especially for people that don't have and don't want to buy soldering equipment and don't want to learn how to solder. 75 key ortho linear. Wow. Chris says Evang's Instagram photos. So the van's Instagram photos. Oh boy. Interesting. Tensa's oh this is this is this gotta be a really good one. Tensa's on Getsu says XDA spacebar on cherry key set. Wow. That's that's really guilty pleasure, I feel like. That's something you don't want anyone knowing about. <laughs> like, you do that, like, when you're alone in your room with the lights dimmed. <laughs> Private time. JTK on high-end custom, says KB Warriors. That's, that's kind of a good one, too. I mean, JTK has obviously now gone through some revisions, and they're starting to kind of polish up some of the problems that they've previously had. Pluto19 says, guilty pleasure, Zeal's RGB. The Zeal 60 RGB PCB is pretty nice, honestly. Nebulon asking me about the HB85. Yeah, definitely. HB85 
It's like such it's such a strange looking keyboard, but I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. Ma oh, that's Mog Genius with another guilt with a really guilty one. I like to mix Crytox oils with Tribosis. <clears throat> that's that's uh, that's definitely definitely up there. I feel like liking stainless steel plates. I'm the same way. I feel like everyone hates stainless steel plates. What's wrong with stainless steel plates? People, I don't think people love like the sound of them. I mean, it's you know, steel is a lot more dense than something like aluminum, so mm -hmm. it's it, it it doesn't really absorb the sound. It kind of just reflects it, and so it it can be a little high pitch. It can be a little loud. I think some people are not really for that. I think it's unique. Hot swap is naughty list material for sure. <clears throat> Hot swap is my guilty thing. Yeah, I I like hot swap, man. <laughs> Mr. Petrov, truly with the A plus answer. My guiltiest pleasure is watching Brian typing. <laughs> yeah, people people love to hate on my typing style because it's just so bad. And like I keep I keep telling myself I'm gonna learn how to type properly. And then I just, I just, I don't want to because it's so much fun to hear people give me crap about how bad my typing style is. <laughs> Sushi says, not using a thumb to hit the space bar, definitely naughty list. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, so index finger users or whatever on your space bar. So we're still kind of in the guilty pleasure segment here. Starston says using VIA instead of learning QMK. But McMerlin has fantastic videos teaching you how to use the new QMK configurator. I probably recommend those like at least once a week. Like they're so good. And for for a ZL60 at least, you do need to use QMK to flash the initial firmware to get via working. Yeah. Uh, Million Millionaire says hot swap is the only reason I was able to get into custom keys. All right, there you go. Very nice. Yeah, some people don't want to learn how to solder. Some people don't want to pay for soldering mm -hmm. equipment or have someone else do it for them. Like, hot swap is just convenient. Uh, PMS and Chicken donates, holy crap, one, two, three, four, five, six hundred charity bits. Nice little snow, snow Christmas theme bits there. Very nice, thank you for that. Josie Brewer says, watching Wodan's recycle haul videos gets you on the naughty list for sure. I don't think I've ever actually watched one of those. Uh. The Archdale says, O-rings on my HHKB stabilizers. Is that a thing? I don't think I've ever done that. Hmm. Have you thought of any better guilty pleasures, Merlin, for yourself? Uh, what do you just really want people not knowing what you like in the community? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that one thing about the keyboards that you thing. love that you that nobody else can know about? Huh. I'm like looking around to see like what mine might be. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Sheesh, I really have like nothing. I'm just obviously perfect, so. Oh, of course, of course you are. <laughs> naturally, naturally. <laughs> hmm. Shall we move on to the next question? Yes, yes, definitely. Bring it on. Okay. I like this one a lot too. What would be the keyboard equivalent of getting coal for Christmas? Yeah, and so. Who would give it? Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> So instead of getting coal for for presents in your stocking or whatever, you're, you're you know what's what's the keyboard equivalent 
of getting coal? What what would you get in the keyboard community that you would just be like, damn, <laughs> and be and, and be sad about it? A true feels bad man. Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for those charity bits, man. <laughs> Bruin says Quake's typing is still better than Kyrosane <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh my god, I'm like so far behind in chat. I think for me it would be like a, a cheap mechanical keyboard that's like 20 to 30 dollars <laughs> i'd be like oh okay because someone has given me that before because they said i heard you like mechanical keyboards <laughs> and i was like thank you that's not how this works <laughs> <clears throat> pudsy says exempt trinity <laughs> says gmk necro mr petrov saying that uh, your sister would be giving out nicole <clears throat> Something I don't have from... a sister. <laughs> Who gave you those uh, knockoff? Uh, oh, that, that's my <clears throat> that's my sister-in-law. Oh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> oh, a Cherry My keyboard. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Oh, Tabu Skies. Yeah. I was not I was not a fan of most of the Otemu Sky's properties. Oh, Sushibi bringing it real. Mike's mystery dark lube. Oh man. I don't know if you saw that, uh, Roland, oh but gosh. when me and me and Nathan Kim did a, a blind lube test with nineteen lubes from nineteen lube samples from novel keys, we didn't he didn't tell us what any of them were. And like three oh of God. them were like jet black. Whoa. And they were all terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> so really 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 bad <laughs> uh, oh Capsa says a spot in a control alt group by <laughs> wow keycaps from Amazon says scope one <laughs> <laughs> old box switches fake stabs stock caps from a razor oh, you guys are into this one <laughs> halo housings and springs <laughs> Keyboard equivalent of coal, huh? Dead PCB. Tai Hao keycaps. Oh, the old plonk with the, the messed up plates. That one that one revision where they just botched all of the plates. <clears throat> that was uh that was a travesty. Canoe PCB. <laughs> Alright, what about what about you, Merlin? What is what is your coal equivalent in the keyboard world? The coal equivalent. Yeah. A full sized mechanical keyboard. Wow, it's like any full size mechanical <laughs> Pretty what if, much I'd what if, like What if I'm gifting you okay. like what if I'm gifting you something like really nice though, like a like a Southpaw full size or uh what is an equals a C three equals mountain or what's what's the other really nice full size that's coming out soon? I think there's another one. I'd, I'd, I'd be very grateful, but at the same time, the whole reason that I got into mechanical keyboards was because keyboards that were larger than a TKL, I found that it started hurting my right arm, like where my mousing hand is. Yeah. So I'm definitely... T TKL is my absolute largest keyboard size. Okay. All right, it's full-size keyboards. Um, yeah. For me... Oh man. What do I what do I really, really dislike? What would be coal? Um Ortholinear keyboards that are larger than the prionic. <laughs> that might be mine. Corbin Dallas says two left side Ergodox PCVs. I remember when that that was a big problem. Yeah, a lot of people getting those. O rings pre installed on your customs. Oof, that's a good one too. O rings are truly a tragedy. Really, really terrible. Um, 
MX Blues. Brand new MX Blues. Cole for me. Heavily used ones. Different story. Sabu so keeps telling you not to die. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Sabu <laughs> I'm gonna need I'll try you my not best to die. here. <laughs> Theremin says mem mechanical keyboards. Interesting. Hmm. Mecha membranes. Specifically, Brian's Zephyr PCV. <laughs> oh man, that PCV. I mean, it works fine now. I don't. I don't even know what happened. Like, it just wasn't working. Like, in any way that I wanted it to. And then I woke up the next day and tried it again, and it was like totally fine. <clears throat> any canoe PCB ABS caps? Wow, even like GMK. Talisman says either receiving one of the extra large keys keyboard for old people. Or uh, needing an extra large keys keyboard because you're old and you're blind. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Jiho gifts another five subs. Holy crap, man. Wow. Guys, one of them's to you, even. Nice. <laughs> you guys are too kind today, man. Thank you all so much. All right. Do we have any more questions, or was, that was it, right? Or was there another? No, that's it. That's it. That's the okay. last question. The coal question. Yeah. All right, definitely. I like that one a lot. I feel like people people got that one a little bit more. GMK Honda bait. <laughs> nice, very nice. A couple people said that. All right, so we will. Uh, we're kind of casually move into a Q and A here. So if you guys have questions about anything, it doesn't have to be Christmas related or whatever, um, make sure you ask those now. Use the at top clack tag so I can see them easier. If you have questions for uh, our guest, Mech Merlin, of course, he is here as well to answer them live. So if you got questions for us, we got your answers. Let them flow, boys. Let them flow. Actually, while uh, while you guys do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the link for... The Top Clack Christmas Giveaway. <clears throat> so let me get this linked for you guys real quick. Definitely shorten that URL, please. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to post this in the Twitch chat. Here's the, the URL for, um, for the giveaway stuff. Really simple, guys. Really, really simple rules. Really simple everything. That's some nice prizes. Yep. Some really nice prizes. Yep. So just uh, just in case people you know don't get the don't get the idea, I'm going to uh, just read off the form a little bit. So this is your form into the Top Clack Christmas Special Giveaways. Um, you have to be in the official Discord um, to win anything. If you're not in the official Discord, you will not win, and we will redraw if you were drawn as a winner. So the link to the Discord is there. That's a permanent link. Um, only one entry per person, of course. Otherwise, uh, you will be banned from all top clack giveaways. Don't try to cheat, guys. Don't try to cheat. You you are one you person. Call. Just just, just en enter enter for yourself, and that's it. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Pretty simple. Prizes will be RNG um, by by me by top clack. Easy peasy. Uh, the form will close um, at 5 p.m. Pacific time on December 27th, which is right before next week's episode. So you got about a week long to uh, to enter this, so easy peasy. Of course, it'll go up in the Discord chat, so you guys can um, see it in the announcements channel as well. So anyone who doesn't watch live or the VOD can still see it. Um, yeah, and anyways, the prizes, pretty cool stuff. So we have uh, a Zeno 75% kit that's in group buy right now. A full kit, guys. Um, courtesy of Zeal and Poner, the designer. Really, really nice of them. Super duper nice of them. For uh, for letting me give this away on top clack, so you you'll get stabilizers with it's a full kit, guys. You'll get your choice of colors, your choice of uh, full plate or half plate. Uh, it'll come with stabilizers. You choose your uh, zeal switches as well for it. Easy, really good stuff. Um, we also have a night fox with Hako trues and sa line, courtesy of Input Club. Very cool stuff. And Novel Keys gave us a fifty dollar gift card giveaway, which is actually I can go a long ways at Novel Keys. <laughs> 
So pretty happy about that. Make sure you uh, you join that if you want to win something. <clears throat> It'll be fun, fun times. So, anyways, yeah, questions. I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll up a little bit and get back to that. If I can find a chat, chat is moving quick today. Um, Pudsy says, Mech Merlin, talk about that guitar challenge. Guitar challenge. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm not sure either, so I'm going to go ahead and move Are you referring to the guitar I have back here? Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, uh, Zamuman asking you what you are currently working on. What am I currently working on? Yes. Um, just the usual QMK stuff, just porting other keyboards in, some that were previously only bootmapper client, and trying to get Via to work on some of them. And on a more Mac Merlin kind of deal, I'm trying to get my first key set out. Some of you have seen it already. It's GMK Serial and Sage or GMK Merlin. So keep an eye out next year. Very nice. Uh, Pluto is asking what your stance is on Pokemon. <laughs> um, I used to be a very avid Pokemon Go player. I mean, and then I stopped this summer. I reached like level 35, level 36. <laughs> I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> because of YOLO. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Von, Von Den Hool asking, what was the problem with Otemu Sky you found? So, I had, I had a few problems with it. The one thing I really liked about him was actually the tactility. I thought the stem did a great job of delivering a nice round bump. Just the way I like it. Not quite as high as I'd like it, but it was still... As far as like an MX tactile goes, it was good. It was really good. The problem was... There was so much rattle from the spring and the leaf... That the sound was just absolutely obliterated. And it was uh, it was really unpleasant to, uh, to use like acoustically. Um, that was probably my biggest problem with it. Second problem was it was the wobbliest switch I've ever used in my life. Like, think about round one Zelios and, like, original Gaterons, and it was, like, noticeably worse than those. So that was, uh, that, that was kind of a letdown. I, I, like, I, I like the way it looked, though. I like the actual blue itself. I thought it was quite nice, the sky color. Have you tried any of those o Otemu skies yet, Merlin? I do. I actually just built one. Speaking of uh, hot soft boards from earlier, this is a 1UP60 HSE. And yeah, it's. Um, I tried them. I, I like the tactility, except I've noticed that when I'm typing for too long, it starts to hurt. It's a little too tactile for me. Mm. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Mr. Petrov asking, how do I find my number in Twitch? Um, you click on your name. Right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. It shows or if you try to at yourself, you can see the number. Yeah. Yeah. If you try to tag yourself, you can see the number. It shows it other places, too, I think. Yeah, it's really not too hard to find. If for some reason you just cannot find it, then PM me after the show and I'll I'll find it. Um, the Raging Agent asking Merlin, hot pot round two in July, hot. please. Yes, please. Do yes, we even? Please. Oh, I guess yeah, we probably do have hot pot places in Seattle, huh? Yeah, we do. We have Boiling Point here and a and a few others. Hmm. We should go. We should. Yeah, I'd be down for that. I haven't had Hot Pot in a while. It's actually been, like, 
a couple, two or three, like three years since I've had it. He's asking about Twitch, though. No, no. You don't need your Twitch number. You just need your Discord number. Your Twitch has nothing to do with the giveaway, guys. The The giveaway is not going to be open just for Twitch. It's going to be open for about a week. It's a Google form. It'll be in the announcements channel in the Discord. Easy peasy. It has nothing. You don't need your Twitch info at all. You just need your Discord username and number. Jshuff donates 100 bits. Thank you very much. Um, Avalon Mobby asking, since there has been so much talk about Holy Pandas, what is your top three tactile switches currently? Um, top three tactile switches currently. Um, for the sake of this, I, I assume we're limiting to the MX format. So I will say Holy Panda is still top three for me. Um, also, Zelios, the V2 Zelios, and the V2 Xylance. I, I think they're just, they're absolutely fantastic. What about you, Merlin? What are your top three tactile switches right now? Um, number one, from the samples that I got, I would put Zeal V2. Um, after that, I'd put Clear-Minded Pandas. And then Holy Pandas. That's too long of a name, man. That's too, <laughs> too long of a name. You can't. You gotta come up with a better name for it. Clear Pandas. Nah, it's not good. That's not good enough, man. <laughs> back to the back to the drawing board with you. You're just biased. You're just biased. I I don't I mean I don't mind. I just I don't like them as much. But I think they need a better name. <laughs> Clear minded is too many syllables to say for a switch. CM Pandas. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, if you guys haven't checked out the new Zeal V2 stuff, you guys really should. He did a he did an incredible job on this, this mm. run. Like, they're so stable, and the tactility is so good, and they're so smooth. Like I'm getting my batch on Monday. <gasps> uh, me too! Uh, I, got, I got more Silence and Helios <laughs> coming. I'm excited. <laughs> Um, Geo saying, does the form ask for your Discord or Twitch username? Um, I'm pretty sure, let me open it back up. I'm pretty positive I put Discord. Yep, Discord, username, and number. And I even gave my example, which was which is my Discord number. I'll, uh, I'm going to go ahead and post it again in the, the Twitch chat for you guys. All right. Uh, Zom Zombuman asking is seventy five percent your still your favorite layout and why? Um, for me, seventy five percent I don't think has ever been my favorite layout. I don't really care for it as much as most others. What about you, Merlin? Is that your favorite it, layout? It it definitely is. That's one reason why why I bought the Zeno. Um, why? Um, I know, I just think it looks good. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. And, I don't know, just, um, a lot of key sets have different colored arrow keys, and, like, and like the function row has alternating colors as well. I feel like that's lost when it's on a 60% or, or smaller. So it's just, just a way for me to display more keycaps. Fair enough. Uh, Zabumon also follows up that with uh, Hamon or Manchego, which I think is an odd comparison because if I'm not mistaken, Manchego is a cheese, Hamon is not. Um, well, why can't I eat the boat? Yeah, this is a weird. This is a weird choice. I I I would love to eat them together because <laughs> I am a fat white guy, but. Uh, eh. All right, Corbin Dallas asking, any special items looking forward to bringing to SMK Winter Beta? Oh, yeah, guys, so if you guys didn't know, um, we have a Seattle Mechanical Keyboard meetup on January 5th, only, what, 16 days away now? So um, I'm going to be bringing... key meetup. 
it's a low key meetup, but like you know, obviously you can still RSVP and show up. Like it's whatever. But um, yeah, it's not. There's not going to be sponsors. There's not going to be like giveaways. It's going to be a very traditional, um, low key. Like you bring your keyboards, you set up your keyboards, and you talk to people about keyboards, and you walk around and try other people's keyboards. Very, very original, very personal. I love it a lot. I, I'm really looking forward to it. Because the other ones are cool, don't get me wrong. Having a bunch of giveaways and sponsors and hundreds and hundreds of people is cool. But it gets a little overwhelming. And it's nice to kind of take a step back to the basics and uh, you know just focus on that. Um, special items. I'll probably be bringing most of my keyboards. I'm probably going to be roll out, rolling out there with like at least 15 boards. Um... I mean, I'll have lots of things to try that people probably haven't tried before or, like, have just been released. Like, I'll have... I should have boards featuring, like, uh, a lot of the new Zeal lineup stuff. Um, I'll have uh, Sprit Progressive Springs for people to test. Um, a, a bunch of just random stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. Sushimi asks... Or, no, I'm sorry. It says, the form asks for the Discord username. Yes. Did I do this wrong? This is not wrong, right? Discord username and number. Is this really that hard? Maybe I'm not seeing something that other people are seeing. Does the form make sense to you? Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't put my name in yet, but maybe I should. I would like just to... to... You've got an example there. Quakum's... Yeah, pound like, sign eight 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 eight. So yeah, which is actually my like Discord. That. That's actually my Discord username. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, no, you, Discord username and number. Yeah, it has nothing to do with Twitch or anything else. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you if you're curious about something or you're having trouble with something, just uh, PM me in the Discord, and we'll uh, we'll try to get you sorted out. Damage Point says, did I miss the form? No, it's been posted in the Twitch chat twice, and after this episode, it'll be in the announcements channel of the Discord. It'll be open for about a week. All right. Um, <laughs> the Raging Agent says, I was told there would be windstorms reported for false <laughs> advertising. Yeah, I have a window closed. Thankfully. If it were open, you might actually hear the wind, but I think it's calmed down a little bit now. The wind advisor actually stopped a little over an hour ago. So hopefully no power outages. I I am absolutely floored and super ecstatic that my power has not gone out today. ISO Returns asks, when will we see more fancy QMK configurator videos, tips and tricks, slash macros, RGB layer, indication, etc.? That's, oh. that's for you. I, I, I figured. Well... <laughs> I'm working on a new series that shows people how to port keyboards into QMK, and um, Quakums here has had a small role in that, but expect to see that next year. If you're looking for something more text-based, let me look for it. Um, I believe there's... Let's see... I'm trying to look for, there has been someone posting their blog that explains a bunch of QMK tips and tricks on, on Reddit. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, he, he's been posting it every week. I just can't seem to remember what his blog name is right now. No worries. Um, I, I, I agree, though. It would be a cool... It would be a cool series for you to start, I think, to do... Um, yeah, well, obviously, for the, the configurator to gain a little bit more functionality, because obviously we know... QMK is very powerful, and it can do a lot of things. 
But, uh, you know, you, you're a little bit more limited in the QMK configurator, which is understandable. So it's just the more basic stuff that most people use. But, uh, you know, like a tips and tricks series, I think, would actually be really good for you. All right. Okay, got it. Um, it's thomasbart.nl. Let me just link it in the chat. Fantastic. Yeah, that's one of his latest ones. All right. Very nice. Yeah, he, he's been putting one up every week. D. Betty uh, has a very interesting question, actually. Do you think keeping a thing of sanitizer, hand sanitizer on your desk would help prevent key shine by removing the oils from your fingers? So maybe you, you know, before you use your keyboard or maybe intermittently you use hand sanitizer uh, before you touch your caps, which I mean, in theory makes sense, but at the same time, that's, that's it's kind of bad skincare. I mean, hand sanitizer is, you know, it's, it's very high concentration of like alcohol, stuff like that, um, you know, to really, really get rid of the germs obviously and uh the, the oils in your skin are actually like they're there for a reason like they're healthy like they keep your skin mm -hmm. healthy um so i mean well, it's just, hands it's, are keyboards <laughs> yeah like I, I like doing it every now and then is totally fine but i, I wouldn't want to like consistently do that all the time it's just like um like washing your hair like several times a day or whatever it's like it's really not good for your hair like the the natural oils from your body are, are really important for keeping things uh, you know healthy. So the solution to that is just to have multiple keyboards and multiple key sets. So you rotate through them often enough that you don't shine them. That's like that's like <laughs> maybe second or third best outcome. But the real win here is embracing the shine, not caring about the shine on your caps, knowing that they they get the love that they deserve and in my opinion often look better with shine um eh. i am not of that opinion and that's why i've well it's stayed away from abs <laughs> it's okay to be wrong but <laughs> aren't you putting out a gmk key set I, I am i am because i like the colors so it's like i like the colors but when i have to type on it um i've noticed that i like lighter colored ABS because they don't shine as much, hence why I have Serica on my keyboard right now. But you just don't type on it? I just don't type on it as much. <laughs> See, I, I could never be like that. I, like, if I want to use something, like, I want to use it. I don't want to have to worry about uh, like, dam like I'm, I'm not going to say damaging it, because, shine I mean, I guess shine could be... It's part of the wear and tear. Yeah. It's part of the wear and tear, yeah. I, I wouldn't call it damaged, but... It's it's part of the experience, man. It's part of the experience. I think it's totally fine. And the sooner that anyone can embrace that, the more fun they will have with GMK keycaps. I guarantee it. Nebulet says he's coming to the winter meetup. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Damage Point subscribes with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, man. Uh, a couple people seem to be totally down for a Boiling Point. By the way, that's good. That's good. Heck yeah. yeah. I mean, hot pot's a pretty good thing to do with like a bunch of people, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Just hopefully we won't have to wait like four hours. Like uh, uh -oh. what happened at Dark Hell. Hmm. I'm trying to catch back up in chat here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Beadlock's asking, Steam sale just started. What games would you guys recommend? I actually haven't even looked at the Steam sale yet. I don't, gonna buy. I, I don't usually have a ton of time to play games anymore. And when I do, it's usually just like I play a little bit of Overwatch or something with people in the Discord. So I have no idea what the sale is going on right now. Um, I usually buy older games just because they're like the cheapest. I'm looking through the sale right now, and I see, like, nothing that's that exciting. Nothing jumping out at me, at the very least. But, yeah, again, I'm I'm much less of a gamer than I used to be. 
just because it's, it's hard to have the time for it. Uh, Zamuban asking, now that Winkeyless is dead, press F to pay respects, <laughs> do, you th- do you think the VIA configurator will be the new bootmapper client? I hope so. I mm-hmm. really that, that is hope my so. Hope as well, because like bootmapper client was it's it, it's easy, it's convenient, but it's easy and convenient for 2015, for 2016. VIA I used to BMC board till about mid 2017, even though I knew QMK because it was that convenient. Yeah, and it really is, and it's it's nice, but like there's still like a little bit of a learning curve to it. You have to mm-hmm. like you have to learn some ins and outs of it before you can kind of use it a little bit more efficiently. But VIA is, like, anyone can use it, and, like, everyone's already a master of it. Like, that's how simple it freaking is. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no like, putting your board into, like, a bootloader or, like, you know, like to press the bottom button or whatever. Like, everything's point and click. There's no flashing. Everything's just done on the fly, and it's unbelievably simple and unbelievably intuitive. So... One of the things that I really liked about it is, like, even on QMK Configurator, you need to make sure that you pick the correct board and the correct PCB. We've had a couple of people like for the E6 V2, people have picked like, oh, the PCB from the round one GB is different from the one in round two. So they picked the wrong PCB. For VIA, you plug your keyboard in and that's the keyboard that you're programming. Yeah, it's super easy. It's actually, um, I don't know if you've ever had uh, multiple VIA devices plugged in at once. But no, you can, I only uh, have one board. <laughs> okay, so the way it works is, like, it's actually really simple. So it brings it up, and you can uh, click. You, you get options for, like, a left and right, so you can cycle through what board oh. you want to program on the fly. It's it's so good. And it, it, lists, it lists what it is in the top left. So, like, you always know what you're programming, and you can cycle through what you're programming. It's, it's, it's really, really a home run. I hope VIA is just balls to the wall moving forward. <laughs> I, I would love that on every single keyboard component that I that I own every single one so gosh darn it I hope so guys I really <laughs> I really really do yeah I think via supports less than 10 keyboards right now but hopefully in a few months yeah yeah so via is still very much QMK on the back end yeah yeah which is is cool also mm-hmm. um, Olivia has been doing a lot of work um, developing it and she's been doing a stellar job um, I know popular uh, PCB designer Wilba has pretty much uh, unofficially said that anything he does from now on, as far as PCB work, will be VIA via. So really, really awesome. Love seeing that everywhere that I uh, that I possibly can. I traveled back in time reading the chat. Yeah. I mean, usually during q and I'm like anywhere from like five to 15 minutes behind because, you know, we had people ask questions and we have, you know, we answer them. So it takes longer to do uh, the latter of that. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty caught up now. Um, millionaire asking, here's a rather noob question. Is it basically impossible to buy PCBs from somewhere other than China? No. We, we definitely have vendors yeah. in the U.S. and all over the world that are not in China. Uh, a, lo- a lot of PCBs, PCBs made in America. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of PCBs are made in China, but, I mean, not all of them. And you can certainly buy them elsewhere. Um, roadkill with a real-life question. Do you guys believe in God? Uh, no. Yes. I am... I, I, get, I, never, I haven't really spent, like, a ton of time thinking about it. It's more just I don't care. But I guess you could call me atheist. Or, I get no, agnostic, I guess, would probably be the right term, right? D. Benny asking, wait, why is Winkeyless Win dead? I was planning a Winkeyless build very soon. Well, Winkeyless as in uh, Winkeyless dot... KR, so uh, the, the the boutique kind of custom uh, builder that kind of made a name for himself doing um, layered acrylic cases. 
Um, he he kind of he shut down shop recently after being open for several years, and uh, he just he just couldn't really compete anymore. It's he at, at one point he was doing a very cool and very unique thing, but um, you know the, the times change, unfortunately, sometimes, and he just he couldn't keep up with it. And apparently, there was a, a very small subset of people who could legitly use Bootmapper client. There was like three or four people there, yeah, and. He had mentioned that everyone was using it already, and the fact that he's now closed shop means he probably won't develop it more. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, he he was like the one guy doing that, right? If I recall, pretty much, yeah, yeah. So we might not actually see more versions of that. Bootmapper client may just very well die out for anything uh, in the future. Yeah. So there's never yeah. there's never been a better time for Via. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! I never realized that Via was part of Olivia's name. Like I wasn't—I I didn't know that was actually part of like the naming scheme. Is that really the reason why? I, I don't know, but that just—that just clicked in my brain, and now that kind of makes sense. I'll have to ask her about that. <laughs> yes, agnostic. Sorry, I, my terminology is not very good on some things. I am I am agnostic. All right, guys, uh, we are going to be heading out here pretty shortly. So if you guys have any last minute questions, uh, make sure you get them in now for either of us before we head out. Um, I will of course post um, the giveaway link one more time, but it'll also be available in the Discord in the announcements channel after the show. So keep that in mind as well already had what like 8 billion people enter this so please guys last minute questions if you guys have any we head out also was this was this snow overlay like annoying to you guys i'm kind of curious i felt like i felt like it might either be really really cool for everyone or really 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 annoying <laughs> but I, i'm not really sure where that actually landed on because i haven't really been watching it Nebulant asking you, pancakes or waffles? <laughs> <laughs> that question's kind of been dying out, honestly. Yeah. We, we don't really uh, ask that anymore. Pancakes. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. finally a, a, a win for the home team. The snow is annoying, sorry. That's fine. Nothing to be sorry about. I wasn't really sure how people would take it. I thought it was just going to be fun. I mean, it's just a one episode thing. The snow looks more like ashes. Pretty sure it's effing with my eyes. I love the snow, but I like it. It's perfectly fine for me. The snow looks more like ashes. Snow is annoying. I like it. <laughs> Why is the snow gray? Thought it was nuclear fallout. Okay. It was okay. Did not catch my attention, but isn't Ooh. annoying either. Okay. That's like exactly what I was going for with it. It's supposed to be in the background, like, white noise. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's supposed to be, like, noticeable, but, like, not something that you focus on. <laughs> I thought it was a nuclear fallout. Yeah, That's why be. I'm coughing so bad. Yeah. All the ash here. <laughs> yeah. Someone, like, at the beginning of the stream uh, said it was asbestos. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. <sighs> All right. Why isn't Snow listed as a guest? Who is the Snow? Jon Snow. I recently just started watching Game of Thrones for the first time. Oh my gosh, you have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, well, I mean, I watched season one in like two days. But then okay. <laughs> season, yeah, I'm on I'm on season two now. I'm watching it with my, my girlfriend. <clears throat> but yeah, prepping for uh, the, the newest season, I guess. I wanted to wait till all of it was out before I started watching it. Or like the majority of it. So I hear that the new... The, Next season is going to be the last season, so I was like, eh, yeah, I'll start now, I guess. But I hate waiting forever. Is Snow developing QMK? Yes. <laughs> Alright, guys, looks like we have no more questions, so uh, we'll uh, we'll take our leave now. So, first and foremost, Mech Merlin, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Top Clack, this special Christmas episode. Thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to... 
since I already have it open, because I, I was I was smart and thought ahead, I'm gonna I'm gonna pimp your YouTube channel right there. Woo so guys, Woo make sure you uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel in chat there, youtubecom slash MechMerlin. Does a lot of cool high production videos, um, especially on the meetups. Really cool stuff. So make sure you check that out. And of course, um, all of our normal stuff below the stream, you'll find our official Discord server, which you will need to be in if you want to win those Christmas special giveaways. Um, you gotta be there. Also, our YouTube channel is linked below as well, so if you want to subscribe there, I do have three new series starting pretty soon that I've been working on. Um, I'm just, I'm a little slow because I'm a very much a novice when it comes to video editing, so it's been taking a little bit. But uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and uh, look forward to that uh, Christmas special giveaway announcement next week when I announce the winners. It'll be available in the Discord announcements channel as well. So until then, have a good time, and I will see you guys next week.